I am the great and all-powerful Booty. Praiseth me. Legion made the Booty proud by winning Bingo last fortnight. Now, I may grace thee with my presence. I will be recapping the Booty worshipping. Our heroes did it last week. Previously, our drunk in Dragon. Hello, I am Ralph. Hello, I'm Sven. I'm Rex Northern Knight. Last week was National Booty Worshipping Week. So, Ralph and his party set it off to get Ralph's girl, Pillow, a present. A yak. Ralph knew he had to get a present for Pillow on National Booty Day. So, Ralph chose the yak of mating, yes? The heroes in their powerful booties hit the road, blessed be. They met a man on the road, Philip McCrack. Now that is a powerful name if I've ever heard one. When we first met the man on the road, I was wary. But he said he was a part of the McCrack Bastards, so I was still wary because my experience with the McCracks is not good. So I was making sure I was getting what I was traded on. After the encounter, they made it to the hill and spotted it the yaks. They were being eaten by a hill giant. Yeah, when we crested that ridge, and we were seeing all those yaks being gobbled up by that giant. I just thought to myself, Oh, I'm gonna yak. Ah, yes, hill giants. They have the largest booties. Sped decided he had to have it, that booty for himself. So he convinced the hill giant to join him. What a good booty, and what a good plan that Sped had. When I seen that my plan of the ice genitalia did not work, I thought, well, maybe she's just lonely. So I came up on next to her and was like, hello, I am Sven. Our party with the yak and the hill giant headed home. When they arrived at there, their home was being attacked by evil booty. The King's God. Rolf cannot stand raiders that just come to his farm to ransack and pillage and burn. So Rolf had to teach them the ultimate lesson. They got rid of the King's God and finally got to celebrate National Booty Day, blessed be, with those that they love. When we finally actually got to relax and lay down, I took in a large potion and laid down with Helga and gave her the old sloth style. <laughs> so where I hang from her and I hump her up. Yeah, National Booty Day. Uh, great time. Uh, I don't really have anybody else other than my little PBs. So we just sat there and wrote a lot of bunch of poetry under candlelight. It was a nice time. Rolf is a bit nervous about the consummation of his love for Pillow. Rolf does not know how it will go. But Rolf will try, for he is the son of the shepherd. And the mighty man. We return now to our party praising if thy booty on their farm. Blessed be, Rolf is about to get some booty of his own. And our party must figure out how to kill the king booty. Praise be the booty, blessed be, fill up your flagons, it's time for Drunks and Dragons. Welcome everybody back to Drunks and Dragons, the show where the players are guaranteed to be more intoxicated than their characters and where you, my friends, can have an influence on what happens in the show. Draw Guys, cheers! Uh, yeah. 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 Welcome, yeah. Everybody. Welcome everybody! Welcome to Drugs and Dragons! Excitement. Hell yeah! yeah. Welcome everybody, Raxnar, Rolf, and Sved, and Turkadur. Welcome guys, thank you for joining us once again on this beautiful and lovely Sunday. Sunday, 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 the day where the Drunks and Dragons happens. Cheers everybody, thank you for being here. We appreciate you. <clears throat> so, uh, get down, it's time for Orbit time! Okay. Are we 
decided on what that is. Oh, yes. No, last week was Army, wasn't it? Was it? Are you, so? Go, we... faceless person! Go, yes. go, go, go! The faceless person. What is Mystic's that chair? Is, is it just chaos go. or what the fuck do I have? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Donaldton. Uh, I haven't been on a D&D &D trip here since I learned about it. It's fucking insane. Hey, welcome in, Squirrel. Can I call you Squirrel? Welcome to our show, my friend. We always love us and we welcome some newcomers. Welcome here. I hope you enjoy yourself tonight. Welcome to the show. Um, first time in months I actually watched live. Dude, I know, Dragon, you're here. Dude, welcome. It's a long-awaited and much-debated return of the darkness. Dude, darkness, you're here too. Ooh, fucking sick, dude. Welcome, guys. Uh, let me show you how good it is to be a mystic. There you go. Okay, so uh, before we get started, as always, a little bit of homework, uh, everybody. Uh, it's true. The Legion won bingo last week, which means that the booty uh, literally comes in all different kinds of shapes and sizes. Got to do the recap for this week. Remember, if you guys win bingo, you get extra dice for your leaders, and your faction gets to do the recap in whatever fashion that you decide. Could even be you yourself that gets to do it. So... Make sure to work hard on them bingo cards. If you don't know what the fuck that means, make sure to join the Discord and check out the bingo. All righty? Um, the Grouch Couch Podcast is now live on Spotify. Next week, we're going to be dropping some brand new episodes, so um, stay posted for that. If not already following the podcast, you can use exclamation point podcast to check that bad boy out. Um, uh, remember to check out LegendCraft. Uh, they're a sponsor of our show. Well, we're product ambassadors for them. You could use our code GrouchCouch uh, for 5% off any of their products. Make sure to check them out. We love them, and those guys are fucking awesome. We're hopefully going to be working with them on some fun stuff in the future, so stay posted, you guys. Uh, second off, uh, Turkey Tuesdays and Flag and Fridays are going to be here on the Grouch Couch now. Uh, Flag and Fridays, we're going to be doing one-shots and tabletops and all the kinds of stuff, so if you want to get involved in that, make sure to stay posted. And I'm pretty sure that that is um, uh, all of the things. Our lads over here are fancy. Are you guys ready? Oh. I hope so. Oh. oh, Svet, you get a booty day recovery potion from oh. Udi Mel. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, no. Thank you so much, Udi. Good thing you uh, didn't down, I guess die I by the snooze. Yeah, no worries. Oh. Uh, it's dice info, guys. <laughs> dice info. <laughs> dice info. <laughs> 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 Mm. All right, Sorry. this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. So where we left off last week, you guys already seen in the intro, so I'm not gonna do all that stuff. But um, Rolf, this yes. is you, buddy. The gods have gifted you an item. Ooh. It's blue. <laughs> You're saying thank you very much for your charitable donation, okay. Uncle Bo. Before we'll make sure all the proceeds go to the necessary output. Oh. oh, very good. So before Rolf, you head up to your lovely consummation. Things that are going to happen before you head up there to do that, we're gonna draw you this A new card. Member yes. joins the party. Hey, it's a squirrel. Oh. Welcome, oh. Squirrel. 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 Welcome here to the shit show, oh, my friend. Guy. We hope you enjoy your stay. Oh, cheers Welcome to here. You. Cheers. <laughs> Welcome. We appreciate your support. Oh. We're gonna draw you a card before we get started, Rolf, because. Um, some importance going to happen, which is the consummation of Rolf and Pillow. So this card may affect what happens in that moment. Uh, I don't remember who this card came from, but remember who you are, because you could change the fate of everything. All right, here we go. Pause. Play. So you could change the fate of everything. Oh, here's what it is. Rolf, you get forgetful. You lose all abilities except basic weapon attacks in the next battle. So this doesn't really affect too much, but once we have a battle today, Rolf will lose everything except weapon attacks. This card was made by Grim Robert. Grab that, remember it. Fancy hats. Well, I was planning on using my arm bracers, but... Um... I don't know what those are anymore. Yeah, you know how to use those. Uh, Colt Mills, for right now, there's only army hats and fanty hats. But next season, there will be more hats. We've already have loads of plans. Check us out on Flag and Fridays, and we'll talk more about it. Um, okay, Rolf, you, yourself, head up the stairs. You're creaking up the stairs. You go to Pillow's bedroom. You already smell fine scents of flowers and other really nice things coming from underneath the door. It's filling up your nostrils. Your senses are getting hyped. Mmm, coming. 
Yes. <laughs> you open the door, you walk inside. There she is, on the bed, wearing really nice medieval silk nighty, laying there. She goes, ding, Ralph. <laughs> she goes, ding. <laughs> no, that's what happens to me. Okay. <laughs> Although I didn't say it. In this moment, in this moment. I think I hear some chains jingling around in my pocket. Yeah, that's it. All right, Bosif. <laughs> and Ralph Bo. goes, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Bo, cheers, man. Thank you so much for the 100 bits, dude. Thank cheers, you. brother. <laughs> As I stand there next to a table. <sighs> she looks at you, but then you have to say something first, which is a crotch speech from Dom. You must talk about your favorite thing type of cookie. Yes, that's mm. what he said. Rolf, favorite thing type of cookie. Here we go. Mm. And you're doing the speech to her, so... Well, I'd have to say that my favorite type of cookie tonight would be your cookie there. Pillow, yes, I wish Pause. <gasps> Play! Consume your cookie tonight. That's what I'm gonna do, Pillow. It's absolutely my favorite type because it's got all the fixings. You know what I'm saying? You got some in here, and over there, and right here, and believe me, I'm eating all of it. Mm. <laughs> Alright, right, beautiful. I love that. You sit down, she looks at you, and she goes, Ralph, I hope you brought your sea cucumber, because I am ready. I am moister than the rain that rains down on the fields during the November of last year's f um, uh, harvest. Harvest, that it was the It is time to speak with your cucumber. Oh, God, we got another one. Wow. <laughs> uh, crotch speech, um, how much Rexnar's peepees have grown. Okay, we'll get to that. Rexnar, remember, you have a crotch speech. I'll write her down for you. You also get an item. We'll do that at the same time. Okay. You go over to her. Stand by the bed. You leave your hat on, but you get in the bed. The hat stays on. Yes. <laughs> you two, do your thing. I need you to roll me a performance to see how well you perform. I hope you brought your dice rollers with you. Oh. Oh. I hear that you're moister than an oyster. Time to quench my thirst. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, God. Oh, is there, is, is there that pause thing? Is there a time limit on that? Hold on, I gotta check this real quick, you guys. No. No? There's not? Cool. I don't want there to be. Yeah, I don't want there to be a time limit or anything on pause. You guys can activate pause and do it as much as you want. At least for now, that's the way we're going to run it. Um, because it's brand new, and I love the fact that you guys are using it. It's pretty self-explanatory, and you guys are kicking ass with that. So, keep her going. Well, I have a minus one to performance. Ooh. Okay, roll so it. We're also going to minus one. Oh, no. It's a 14. 14? It's not too bad. Okay. Mm. You're doing your thing. Can you? Give the dice. Okay, re-roll it. Here we go once again. You got a minus five from Nixel. That's harsh. It is harsh. Uh, tavern and in your channel. I'm so trying to perform for my oh, no. love. Sweetie, we're gonna have to check it out. Ooh. Oh, you got two pluses, which puts you at a plus five. You got an eight. The minus one's a seven, so you're at a twelve. Mm. You're at a twelve right now. Thirteen. Uh, he has minus one himself. Oh. Yeah. So mm. you're at a twelve. Uh, screw you, traitor. Damn! I'll be back after the show. I'm Tom Brady today. Okay. Your dice roll has been... No! Oh. You got a 17. So you do fairly well. What I need you to do, okay, is explain to me in your native tongue, um, using euphemisms, um, what happens. Pretend like you're at the tavern afterwards. Just use maybe a sentence or two. How did it go? Tell us about it. Oh, with the fancy hat. Yeah, How much time do we be, have left on that? That'd be it's 7.15, actually. That happened right away, so you're good. You could fan, Fancy time is over, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of fancy time. Rolf got his time to shine, which means you did the, the thing Draw with pillow a car. with the fancy hat on, which means the fancy hat got all of it. Do you want to? I don't know. It's, um, I don't know if. Uh, what is going on here? Yeah. <gasps> 
both feels really good for some reason. Ugh. You look less tense there, Ralph. Yes, I feel less tense, but I can't I can't know what happened. It feels as though my my sea cucumber has been bathed in the oils of the fields that we harvest and we mash up to make the oils. That was a long euthanism. Not not the best from Rove. <laughs> but yes, I feel as though an ox horn has been ground down to a fine powder and I have mixed it with the milk from the yaks and my entire body has been covered with it. Okay, so uh, that was beautiful. Here's what happens. I need to draw a DM card. We've got a couple other things here. But uh, basically, um, you are going to wake up next to Pillow. Sved, you are waking up next to a hill giant back at normal size in the spinach fields. Waking up inside the hill giant? Yeah. I don't know. It's up to him. Um, Rexnar, you wake up in the chicken coop. And next to you, there are bones from a dead cyclops, if you remember. Oh, we all still of your, have been taking care of that? All of your chickens... Time to sing and make Nana proud, yes? They ate all of the meat off of his bones. Uh, sing a song, I just had sex. You know that isn't on the list, but are we going to take it? I think we know this one. I think we have to take it, because that's, that's fucking perfect. Donaldton will take it. Okay. You wake up, right? And you look around, and it seems that all of your little peepees have gotten stronger, more powerful. They're growing oh. feathers. They're almost full-grown peepees. Oh, wow. Almost like all of this meat from the cyclops wow. that all of your peepees ate made them grow overnight. At least the first batch of peepees that you had. Yeah, Rufflecock's still the same size for some reason. Okay, he was one of the later batches. Yeah. Also, you probably fell asleep with him. DM card. Oh, yeah. DM's next rolls in that 20. Beautiful. Rolf knows many men who nickname their peepee Cyclops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, but whenever you get up to look around, Rexnar, you find yourself an item, and you must give us a speech about how your peepees have grown. Uh, yeah. This comes from Bosef. <gasps> Uh, I think he had to convert in tavern. Be careful, He's Bull Boy. The spirit of it. Hell yeah, Remember, he is. There are lights above you. Yeah, be careful. Ah, shit. Ah. It's always so scary. I can't see anything. The PBs have flourished with the first batch being sent out into the world. Profits are high and demand is large. Battle oh. cost. Play! And that I cannot wait to see armies across the land of strong, just girthy, veiny battle gods. Some gross. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds gross! Uh, okay, yeah, um. Nick, they're all veiny. Why? When you stand up to give this speech to your little peepees <laughs> about how well <laughs> they have been doing, you look around and you find yourself an item. This is the. The tub of churning and fermentation. Um, it looks like this. Uh, Rexnar. Uh, this squat wooden and ceramic tub has a screw on lid that fits slightly around. Um, what does it do though? Is you can it's tough okay. You can, you can leave a liquid or other perishable in the tub and secure the lid before saying the name of the end result you'd like the contents to turn into. If you say the name of a possible result, the tub clicks lightly before locking in its lid shut for ten minutes. After ten minutes, the tub gives a second louder click as the lid unlocks. The contents of the tub will have been stirred, processed, or otherwise fermented in such a way to generate the commanded end product. Adding extra ingredients into the tub can compact, can impact the end result's flavor. Once the tub has been used in this way, it can't be used until the following dawn. Example ingredient, milk. It'll turn into butter or cheese. Vinegar and cucumbers will turn into pickles. Apples will turn into hard cider. Fruit juice will turn into wine. And cabbage will turn into sauerkraut or kimchi. That's what you got. I got a food processor. Yeah, dude. Oh, you don't want it. That's what it sounds like. I mean, Sven's mm. like, hey, you don't want a hey, me have? <laughs> I could make all the cheese with it. Oh, you know shit. how much I need cheese. Yeah, we do know. Oh, you're just gonna turn spinach into more spinach. <laughs> yes, it's called money. <laughs> Wait, does, and spin- marketing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> My gosh. All right. Um, you wake up next to Pillow, Roth. Wait. Uh, yeah, you wake up, Sved, in the spinach farms. Uh, next to Helga. Underneath. Underneath her. 
Okay, is there anything you would like to say or do? Boo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you beat there? me to it. I was going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> For those of you guys who don't remember, Helga is a hill giant that Sved seduced. So, like you may have been cut out of hearing, I was in sloth style. And I was giant sloth, so I was underneath being power bottom. Okay. But then... My potion ran out and I shrunk. She passed out because she finished, and I was in there for hours trying to breathe. All right, and I know we already rolled performance on your roll last week, and you did well. I remember. Yeah. So yes. Okay, so you're passed in there, all passed out under her all night, away from the elements yeah. with the spinch. Yeah. Because you was, literally fucked in a spinch field. It was kind of actually like thermo securing. Okay. <laughs> like an igloo, but the flesh. Is there anything you would like to say? <laughs> That's all I'm thinking. Quote ad. You know what I mean? All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, cool. So you wake up next to Pillow. Uh, your memory is faint because you were fancy, which... Thanks to chat, that's what happens. Uh, the fancy hat came and took over your mind. It's canon now. Yeah, your memory was faint, but you wake up next to her, you feel happy and surprised. She rolls over and looks at you, smiling. She seems awesome. And then she says, Well, Rolf, if last night was success, then we will have mated and reproduced for the good of our people. I will let you know in four fortnights if I am pregnant or not. If my blood comes. Rolf understands this. If <laughs> hopefully the hair of our child will signify the melding of our two families coming together. The melding of families, yes. Yes. Through one beautiful yak night of fancy hats and sex. You did worship my booty. Wait, what does she mean by fancy hat? It's not Rolf. Did but yes, know? the booty is what Rolf worships. And Rolf does worship your booty. Because it is, it is magnificent. More magnificent than the oysters on the eastern coast that Rolf has seen and eaten with feverous and moist mouths. Yes. Yes. Are you, like, just making up words at this point? Rolf is trying to be sexy. Can you not right now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, great. Uh, you put on your clothes. You give her a smooch. You say, you know, very well, very good. She says to you, also, well, I was satisfied. Um, then you, um, then you wait. Damn it. <laughs> Downstairs. Drink, everybody. I said he make your way. put on his clothes, and then he made his way. Mm-hmm. Uh, a new member up. joins the party. Hey, Fin Fan! Fin, fin Fan! Fin Fan 71, yes. Fin Fan! Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome here to the shit show. We hope you enjoy your stay. We appreciate your support. Welcome. Welcome. Cheers. Cheers. Four fortnights is 56 days. I really hope someone Cap. happens to capture <laughs> that little conversation we had. <laughs> <laughs> he wants a quote to add. Okay. Uh, you go downstairs and out the house. You meet back up with the rest of the party. Rexnar has his brand new weird thing, and you see Sved crawling out from underneath Helga. She's passed out, mouth wide open, in the middle of the spinach field. Thank you, Suni. Which mouth? The one on her face. Oh. Yeah. Which pair of lips are you talking yes. of? Her legs wide open, yes. her mouth wide open. Mm -hmm. Do you know, um, what is name a thing? So whenever I ask, you'll use name a thing to add a name to an NPC in our world. Um, once an NPC arrives, I will ask chat to be to name it, and then you will throw your name in the running. And if we like, then we use true story. So, you three know that it's about time. You head down into the battle room, and you meet up with Becky and Stone Queef. <laughs> You get down oh, there, yes. you can see that the blind man is still down there, the one who learned Draconic for no reason. Uh, he's still <laughs> down there, <laughs> along with uh, you know a couple other lads, Rob and Hood. A new member who, who down there hanging out. The party. Jeb Ben! Jeb Ben? Cheers. Welcome! Jeb Ben! Cheers to the shit show! Yeah, welcome Hi, here! Man. Cheers! Yeah. Hope Wait. you enjoy your stay, my friend. We appreciate your follow. Welcome oh, here, Jeb Ben. Cheers. Last minute battle win. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh. You approach Becky. She looks at you three. And she, oh, wait, we're singing a song they first. They fell from the back. We are singing a song first. To Sped all phones. the new followers. Hell Someone yeah. Host a show of 30 shit. bits. Thank you, Bosif. Draw Andy Cakes. Thank you for hosting. Yes, thank you for hosting. 
DM top. Okay, give me one second, Bosa. Before you guys go down into the battle room, hopefully this doesn't sound like shit. Sweet, it's pretty good. All right, here we go. I can get singing parts. You have the word. You'll get the singing parts. Okay. But we get word parts. What does it even mean? Oh no! You, oh, you, it, it, you know what that means? Oh, word in we, singing parts. Is we, that that the words on that are fucking crazy? Is this better? You know, it, we can have. I each just other had up. sex. It's just the chorus, right? No, there's just there's other. There's other. Yes, it's like rapping parts. Yes, there's like super rapping parts. Yes, yeah. Rope cannot do it. Oh, you expect the Russian flaw to do rapping? Something beautiful happens in this okay. world. And you don't know how to express it. I do need words over here. Wait, so yes, we don't have the words. Yes, yes, I have no idea. Felt so good, felt so good. Ooh. Woman, let me put my penis inside of her. I, I just can't say. Ways of the past. They come. They pounce in the back. Have you ever had sex? I, I have felt great. Yeah. When I did it with my penis, girl, let, let me do it. it. Literally, it's just have it. Having oh. sex should it's make a man. Dude, the lyrics. Okay, so everybody. <laughs> the lyric so video we're watching is insane, and there isn't any other ones. Normally, we prep songs, so we I'm make like sure there's actual. Season. Yeah, there's actual like lyric videos, and this one is insane. What's this one? Oh, this is. I think this is. It's like, oh yes, you can read. Point two seconds, right? No, there's there's, oh, no, there's words no words. There. words. Yeah. See what the fuck? Damn it, Domelton! <laughs> I blame you. There's no words. There's no words. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. All right, well, we're gonna have to wing it. Oh, what? Oh, that, no. Yeah, it's a lyric video. Oh, no. <laughs> we're gonna have to wing it. Oh, no. Wait, that was like, I can't wing it. I mean, you can try I've never it. heard this song in my life, but I okay. just had sex. Just, just do the choruses then, Sved. You've got this. Okay. Fishy yeah. knows it. Ooh no, I... Hey, hey Kong. <laughs> and Lowly Island. Yeah. You just yeah. got it. I just had sex. Hey. And it felt so good. Felt so good. A woman let me put my penis inside of her. her. Had sex. Hey. And I'll never go back. Never go back. To the way it's not Where are these points coming from? Have you ever had sex? Nah, that felt so great. Yeah. yeah, felt so good when I did it with my penis. Yeah. Girl, let me do it. It literally it just happened. Just had sex. Make a nice man out the meanest. Never guess where it just came from. I had sex. To describe the feeling, it was the best. The best way. When I had sex, I man it felt it so great. Called my parents after I was dead. Didn't see you there, guess what I just did? I just had sex, undressed, saw her boobies and the rest. Was sure nice to let you do that thing. Nice of any girl ever, now sing. I just I had sex, sex. And it felt so good. Ooh. A woman let me put my penis inside of her. Hey. Wanna tell the world to be honest, I'm surprised you even wanted me to do it. Doesn't really make sense, but man, screw it. I ain't the one to argue with the good thing. She could have been my wife, that's that good. good. Bastard. My life. I am humbled by a girl's <laughs> ability to do it. Let me do it, cause honestly, I'd have sex with a pile of manure. manure. With that in mind, the soft smiling girl's better. She put let me through a chain in my turtle neck sweater. So this one's dedicated to them girls. Let's let the flop around on top of them. Yeah. If you're near or far, whether short or tall, we want to thank you they all for letting us fuck you. She kept looking at the watch, doesn't, doesn't matter, matter if sex. sex, but the cry the whole time. Doesn't, doesn't matter if sex. sex. I they think she might have been a racist. Doesn't that matter if sex. sex. She put a bag on my head. Still counts. I, I do that sex. And my dreams come true. Dreams came true. If the 
Yes, they did. Oh, that, that was oh. that was interesting. That head hurts. I like want to do a different song so we can make up for how shitty that was. <laughs> yes, okay, how about you just good. promise next song you make up for it? All you right? better do I feel good. Yes. Yeah. We, damn we, we know the songs that are on Seriously, that was great. Uh, so thank you guys for the <laughs> bed, Spooky Sprinkles, Imra, Shana, Uncle Bo, Audie, really Mel. Guys, thanks for cheering these yes. guys on while they Cheers, sing guys. about them just having sex. Cheers, you guys. Yes. Thank you so much. Rolf enjoyed the key change in the, in the song. <laughs> yeah. I want to tell the You world. motherfuckers ready for a key All change? Right. So you sang badly and then and went down. The thing. Oh. For loot. There's things I have to do first, actually. So we sang badly, and then we I went I don't down. doubt Yes. <sighs> Who's feeling lucky for loot? Who was that? Rum Tum! Where's my pen? Damn it! Pen! There it is. I there got it. There are people here. Rum Tum! I got you, friend. Okay, so... Can't say stuff like that. Yeah, because it was like... Then what? I all look for notifications. <laughs> yeah, then it's like, what? <laughs> You're like... An adventurer is uh, feeling lucky uh, for loot. All right. Hey, look, brand new here. Entry for the giveaway. That's right. Squirrel. I'm just going to put you down to Squirrel. I used to have a friend named Squirrel. Cool. You want to hear more about that? Check out the podcast on Spotify. Did That's really right. Talk about That's right, Rexnar. Hell yeah, yeah, we talked about loads of shit. Oh, shit. Okay, so um, draw a card's fed. That's off. Okay, I have to draw a card for the DM. But you guys go down into the battle room, and Becky and Stonequeef welcome you. She says, welcome, guys. Did you enjoy Booty Day? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ralph, Ralph loved to believe. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. It was a giant success. Well, it's the only time of the year when I polish Stone Queef's sword, and uh, oh, good for you, good for him. Yeah. Definitely. Him. And he worshipped my booty. Cool. DM gains advantage for ten minutes. Are you fucking me? Doesn't he have like an auto nat twenty two? Yes, so I do. So you're telling me you had a great time with Rockfart, yes? I did, Stone Queef. Yeah, indeed, good guy. Well, back to business, shall we? Back to the resistance, back to building everything that we've been doing for a long time. Uh, well played, Link, a giant success. That's funny, Mixel. Oh, shit, I got 86. Oof, sorry, I like reading chat. So, we have an army. We have archers, fighters, a dragon, a hill giant, yes. and battle chickens. Right? We've got loads of people. We've got me and Stone Queef. We've got Rob and Hood. We've got old dragon No Eyes over there. You know, we've got Pillow. What happened to the crow mm. guy? We've got loads of people. I have Pillow. Right? We've got a friggin' crow guy, whatever his name was. But here's the deal. We need one more thing to get the people on our side. Is that the people? Yes. Advertising. Well, oh, good I idea. <laughs> good idea. To see first break. But no, we do have advertising. Uh, 744 is done with advantage. Thank you, Bo. Appreciate that. So, there is a man. A man that I've learned of recently because someone sent me a crow. I've been researching this for the past couple weeks, and he is really, really hard to track down. This man's name is Philip McCrack. Have you heard of him? Oh, oh yeah, we met Philip McCrack last week. You met Philip McCrack? Yeah. See, I told you I didn't trust this guy. Oh, wait, we need this guy. Yes. Oh, you shit. met him? You didn't get him back to the farm? No, he had to do something, and we had to do something the other way. What was he? What was he doing? Oh fuck, he had to go build uh, something with wood. He, he was looking for a lot of wood to build something. Mm, sounds he, like him. The church? Well, here's the no, deal. I've been doing sure. research, and I found out that this man is a bastard, right? His last name's McCrack. Bastard's yeah. last name McCrack. He is the rightful heir to the throne. Oh fuck. He's the king's son. Shit. Yes, he is. He's the king's before? bastard child. And this letter informed me of all of this, and it told me that Philip McCrack just got in to Common Steel City for last night. Oh, here we go back to Rum Common Tom. Steel City. He just got into Common Steel City so last 
Knight, I need you three to go and find this man, tell him what the fuck the deal is, and get him you back here to our guys. resistance. Because if we can tell the people that we have the rightful heir, not only do we have an army to overthrow the king, but we have the rightful heir. Draw a card. This will be easy. What? Wait, so Svev gets two cards. Uh, oh, wait, no, the first one was Bo, are you cool. drunk? <laughs> what, guys? <laughs> what? He's an exclamation point shit. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, I think it might be best if we actually tell Philip my crack that he's not actually the heir to the kingdom until we get him back here to Pepperidge Farm. Well, it's up to you. We whatever don't you want do to it. Scare him. You just need to let him, in the city. him know. Well, Wait, from what I've heard, can't you send him a crow? No, I told you he's hard to track down. Where am I to send a crow to? Who are you I'm going to send there. us to? I just get there. Figure out where the fuck <laughs> he is. Now is not the time to poke. Plot but holes. don't poke holes <laughs> in the story. <laughs> I swear to God, Dom, you son of a bitch! No one is roll dice. You're wasting your dice. No, but they're trolling. Was given to you. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> like draw a card. Go back underneath your bridge, you trolls. Too much Uncle Botus with Joe said. Nixel said, kidnap him. Yeah, that's right. Jesus Christ. Wait, but Sved gets a card. Sved does get a card. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Pixies Trixies. You good guys. Yo, stop. I'm going to turn the command off. Watch. I'm going to turn the command off. Wait, no, Sven needs that bottom roll. Uh, a pixie shows up and polymorphs the player into a sheep. Oh, shit. The player is a sheep for 1d6 minutes. Bah. I'm excited. This card was made by Tugboat. Please be six. Yes! Six minutes. Get up on your chair. You're now a sheep for six minutes. You're a sheep until... Uh, uh, 730, 744. Oh, I hate you. Let me be sheep. I hate you. This is a three. Oh. It's a three. Okay, not too bad. Somebody want to do a plus five? Bah. Okay. What say you? You agree to this plan? We will go find this bastard. Yes. You will go find this man. Tell him what it is. Stop. Eh, yeah, I think we'll let nice you explain it, but yes. we'll bring him back. All right, that's the only plus five we're going to take. You get eight minutes. Oh, yes. I mean, <laughs> Okay. You three agree. You step up, uh, step up out of the battle room. You see that Helga's finally standing up and getting ready, and she's looking around for Sved. She's like, where is he? Man. And uh, I'm picture. Wait, are one of you guys gonna carry Sved as a sheep? I was gonna like kind of. Like, are you just gonna I'm follow the rope around him? Rolf is like, a shepherd. As a leash. Okay. Rolf can carry Sved if need to be, if he does not want to listen to their rope. We could do a rope thing. You guys are carrying. Helga's all looking around <gasps> for Sved. She's uh, like, where is my little furry sloth man? Uh, <laughs> crazy thing, Miss Helga. Um, it'd be really nice if you put your uh, trousers back on first. Oh, full bush. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's more she like puts a tree on her branch, little, but her little anyways. flap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> due to the chaos of which land we live, uh, poor Sved boy has been turned into a sheep. Uh, this ha happens often. Uh, you, well, not necessarily this. You, you would be surprised with the things that happen to but us. But things just happen to us, and we have to just be okay with mm. it. Almost like there's a bunch of people on the other side of this weird camera making crazy things happen during our show. Look, we don't make the rules. We just write them down and tell everybody how it goes. <laughs> so... We are almost as intoxicated as ourselves. we must go to yeah. Common Steel City to go pick up the bastard. We're going to take sheep sled with us. Nice. Okay. Okay. Fill up they my crack bastard. Back. Yes. Is it going to say it? Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Good one, Uncle Bo. Thank you for the 10 bits, brother. Ba, 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 ba. You, did the same, you did the same phrase, but you just replaced the B's with A's. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. No, 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 no. No. Both. H's, H's, that's what, that's what it was. Ah, yes, yeah. yeah, that's yeah, what you okay. did. Rolf is done pointing out things that don't need to be pointed out. Yeah, so that's true. Okay, can... so, you three gather up all the things. You get burrows, you guys get your cart. You put Sved Boy the sheep in the back of the cart. Bah. Yeah, uh, you guys gather up all the things. Is there anything specific you want to do or gather before you leave the bah. place? Bah. So, bah. is Sved a woolly sheep? 
Bah. Does sure. he have a lot of cotton? Totally. Hell bah. yeah. Yeah. Do you think we could harvest the cotton from him before bah. it changes? Bad. That was bad. Bad. That was a mad bad, dude. <laughs> Do you think he'd be bald afterwards? Bah. Parts of him, I think, probably. I think he's going to be sick. Why do you want wolf for? Oh, no, oh, it's cold inside the chicken coop. Bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, look here. Sheep, you're about to get a bad ass. I never thought I'd hear a sheep bad with a Russian accent, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy, wow. Okay, never mind. Nah, I digress. Alright, you got Burroughs ready? Yeah. Burroughs, are you ready to go? Yeah. We need to find this bastard. I am ready, Rolf. Philip my crack bastard, yes. Philip McCrack. Alright, so all three of you guys get onto your cart. Yeah. Yeah. You leave. Yeah. The, yes, Sved. What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> you're, you're a sheep. What are you trying to do? What do you got? We that one. Bath of them. Gonna come and try to steal the horse. All right. Bo. You guys got Bo. something to do with too. He, he wants both of these. Why? Things. Uh, to charge? You want to charge them? Bo. Yes. He wishes oh, you need to a, charge. You need to roll them. for charges. Okay. What do you need to Because it was long rest, yeah. This one? Magic! <laughs> the three sided die? Character. Ooh. This one? Bah. Ooh. This one? Protect Murphy. For this. Alright, we've got us a combo again, folks. Long live the creatures. Yeah. We've we got go. a combo again. I don't know why Right at Dawn didn't go off. That's kind of annoying. We have to fix that. Uh. We've got a combo. There is no. B <laughs> Does it not say charges per long rest? It says 1d3 plus 2 expended charges a day. Have done. Yeah. He's, looking at, he's looking at me. <laughs> I'm not you. I do not know your clothing charges and shit. Let me, let me see it. Hand it to me. Oh, yes. Okay. You can do it. <laughs> Hold on. Ralph believes in you. <clears throat> Wow, that was oh. actually a very nice roll. That was pretty close. Yeah, that was cool. But it missed the box. Try again. Do it again. And oh, it's, it's off the table. table. Hold on. He hasn't even one. rolled yet. <laughs> Dumb. We have a red one now for you. Oh, that was uh, almost nope. in my drink. <laughs> what is it, Lassie? Is someone stuck in the well? Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is the hardest game of mini golf you've ever played. <laughs> All right, and we've got our whole set of faction cards here. After he's done, we're going to venture into the... Oh, hey. That is for the one clothing item. <laughs> you get one yeah. card. Huh. And there's the give a dice for yeah, you. Yeah, you have to re-roll it anyway. Uh, Uncle Bo, uh, can't give a dice. Don't give a dice, a Uncle Bo. One. Technically, Dom already did. Desert Squaw. Here, you guys... I Look at that. Yay, man. Three. There you go. Three All right, you need, um, what's the next thing? The arm bracers? So, so, no, that was the arm bracers. No. Man. No, no, that was for the... That was for the pendant. Yeah. Your now he needs to do the arm bracers. No. You are because saying bye. I do not know which back. ones you want. Man. Look at my arm. No, <laughs> this is the next one. Okay, yes, okay. head nods uh, would be preferable. Also, you Because get... bah is not yes or no. Sven, you get full charges because uh, Nixel gave you plus five. Bah. You get, Nixel gave you plus five. So now we're doing that one. Okay. Bah. Needs the six. Whoa! Yeah. That was pretty good. You got a two. Hell yeah. That's for now. I was trying to make you say the thing, Turk. Oh. Is sheep rolling dice considered this tit fucker being clever? No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> this shit looks clever to you? This is the dumbest <laughs> shit we've ever done. Alright, uh, you got a plus five from Nix on that too, so you're full on both things. <laughs> yes. Okay. Here's what happens, you guys. Um, a monk in a berserker rage comes out of the forest where you guys are, about halfway to Common Steel City, and it tries to attack Burroughs by punching it. But then, all of a sudden, excuse me, this magical pink mist 
kind of appears and then shoots sand into his eyes. And he falls and hits the ground, <laughs> incapacitating him, yes. All right, um, then, I forgot what the creature was doing. So much shit had happened here. Let me go back here. Uh, ain't having none of that. He just summoned a creature to aim another. Okay, so it's the Spartan first. The Spartan shows up with the Iron Heads, armed with goblin explosives. And says, we must protect Burroughs, right? And he's just going to throw goblin explosives at this other man. And then the werewolf shows up to cause chaos. <laughs> so, you guys, we have got an incapacitated monk who's on the ground. We've also got a werewolf and a Spartan. One has, one's riding a broomstick. The other one has explosives. Who do you think would win in a fight? Man. They're fighting, correct? Burroughs, could you back up a little Shooting bit? Shooting, Uncle Bob. <laughs> from this shit. Protect, Bleh. protect. Snap. Yes. Bleh. Bleh. Uh, I don't have enough dice. Wait for what? Army time? Uh... The monk falls to the ground, incapacitated, and you guys are moving forward. All right, an increasing race. The Spartan is running next to you guys, running next to the cart. There you go. Eat some spinach with his goblet explosives. And there's this werewolf flying around in the sky, trying to come down and also attack Burroughs. All right? The Spartan is throwing his explosives at the werewolf in the sky, and the werewolf is swinging down, trying to bite him. Suni, I want you to roll me one d20. And Bo, I want you to roll me one d20. High roll wins. The one that wins survives. The gods have the monk, you an item. The monk from the Legion it's got left blue. behind. Gift a random item to the show. Hey, hey, I mean, hey, hey. Hell yeah. Oh no, Suni wow. got a two. Are you serious, Suni? Wait, wait. Oh shit, and Bo got a six. Fuck, you guys. Really strong rolls out there tonight. Yeah, really strong rolls. I can do better, I swear. Well, you better. Give a dice. Ooh, what the fuck is this? There you go. Yeah, who, Dom? You get the serpent dart. Oh. You're down as a sheep in the cart, right? Eating the spinach in the corners of the Give cart. And you bite onto something solid. This is the serpent dart. You pull it up. You can use an action to cause thick emerald green poison to coat this magic dart. The poison retains for one minute or until an ah. attack using this weapon hits a creature. That creature must succeed on DC 14 con save or take an extra 2d8 poison damage for the attack and become poisoned for one minute. Once this property has been used, Bad. it can't be used again until the next dawn. <laughs> so like an arrow, even? You could lash it to a... Very cool. Oh, nice cool. Looks like has been oh very cool. Yeah, cool. bet. Okay. Tom, give a, give a dice oh, to Bosef. Audi Mel gave a give a dice to Suni. They both re-rolled. Bo got a 13. Suni got an 11. And then Suni got a plus 5. Suni got another plus 5. So that puts Suni at 21, and that puts Bo at 13. Am I right? Your dice roll has oh. been good. And also, that puts Bo at... Shit. That puts Bo at 23, and Suni at 21. They both got two plus fives. Morris, are you okay up there? I'm fine. Chugging along. There's a weird thing flying above me. Also, explosives are going off right now, Rolf. Can you whack these away from me? The guys, they fell from the back. Uh, Rolf will whack the explosives. Oh, even though that seems counterintuitive. Oh, okay, believe. plus 15. But that means Bo wins. Oh. So, the Spartan. Your dice roll has been tempered. Bo still wins because he has two more. They both get a plus 15, but Bo has a th two more points in the first place. Uh, so Bo has a 13, so he has 11. I am not cheap anymore. Yeah, so rip. Good try, though, Rupert. Uh, oh, is my camera crooked? Here we go. Oh, gosh. Why did no one tell me my camera? Whatever. No one pay attention to the fact that my camera is good. Ah! Uh, I was cheap. How could I tell about the camera angles? Like your camera was perfect. Now it is crooked. I, was, I was barely <laughs> roll my charges. Weird camera stand, you guys. All right, we're dealing with it. For now, we're dealing with it. So, this one's good. 
The werewolf wins riding the broomstick. He's like whacking the, the goblin explosives back at the Spartan. And he's like dodging, running alongside Draw the cart. Right? He's like reaching out his hand, like, help me into the cart. You know, reaching out his hand, but you guys are just kind of ignoring him. And Svet's digging in the corner for eating spinach and finds a goblin dart. You know what I mean? And then the werewolf on the broomstick whacks back a goblin explosive and it hits the head of the Spartan and his head explodes getting blood all over the side of the cart and on the ass of Burroughs. Not the ass Yeah, that's of right. Burroughs. And the goblin comes, or the werewolf comes down on his broomstick and takes a swipe at Burroughs and he's going to take a D6 damage. If I do believe correctly, I think that Burroughs has 15 HP. So, a new, a new member, member joins the party. He takes two damage. And then the werewolf flies off. Oh my god, Burroughs. Your ass is so bloody. Wait, who just joined the party? Syrian, of course. Is that Syrian? Syrian. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, that's right. Hello. Welcome to Shit Show. Hello. Welcome here to the Shit Show. We hope you enjoy your stay. Cheers to you. Thank you so much for your follow. We appreciate your support. Yes, cheers. Yes, very much so. Cheers. I think this is Fed's first weapon. Really? The rest are claws. Yes. <laughs> and or it's not even it's a really a weapon. It's like a gauge. I could put it in my ear if I had them. Nice. I mean, totally. Totally. Okay. After a while of riding and all that crazy ass shit you just went through, uh, Burroughs kind of, you know, limping a little bit from being scratched in the leg. You guys make it to Common Steel City. After dealing with the guards at the front gate, all three of you guys kind of like hide your weapons from the guards. You manage to make it through. Once again, while you're walking through, you see that one of the guards is like glowing blue eyes this time. And he's like looking at you guys. But you make it through into Common Steel City. You park Burroughs in your cart at the Rose Gold Inn. And you hop off right there. Oh, shit. You're not sure what to do or where to go from here. But when we come back in 10 minutes, we're going to figure it out. Uh -huh. But before we go, we need a thumbnail pose, you guys. What do you want uh, us to pose as? You guys can throw out any idea for these guys, and they will do their best to pose in that pose. And then this pose <coughs> might get used as a thumbnail for the episode. Also, you guys uh, <coughs> must praise the booty in the town square. Who, Amy? Pick a person. Pick a hero. Pick a hero, Amy. Pick a hero. YMCA. Haven't we done that one? Three Musketeers. Oh, what does that look like? Kind of. No. Like we're all like, yeah. Oh, up in the sky then. Like put your, crossing put your, swords. Put your arms up in the sky. You don't cross swords in the uh, sky. We've got boy band. All right, this we're gonna do rapid fire. We're doing rapid second. fire. You guys ready? Three musketeers. Done. Crotch shot. Uh, oh, Rove stepped on his fucking sash. Uh. Crotch shot. Next one. Rex boy. Nope. Skip that one. Don't know what that means. Boy band. Poses boy band. Oh, Rex Boy has to do the speech about the booty in the town circle. When we come back, don't forget. I'm going to write it down. Boy band. Beautiful. Rowing a boat. Turn to your turn to your right and row a boat. Si, sole te lo gajo. Nice. Nice. Flexing biceps. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then Charlie's Angels. God damn it. How did they do? Yes, you need to turn that way. <laughs> You're kind of out there, but yes. Beautiful. Okay, we'll be right back. Uh, uh, how can I see how many dice I have? Uh, exclamation point sorry, dice. Sorry. We'll be right Get back in 10 minutes, everybody. Don't go anywhere. Video. Yes, we'll be right back. Hello, this is Fed. Here to give you a little passive... <laughs> Welcome back to Drunks and Dragons, everybody. The show where the players are guaranteed to be more toxic than the characters. And where you can have an influence on what happens in the show. That's right. Uh, Sved's getting a card. Thank you so much for the host, Liberator Raider. Yo, dude, good name. Good name. Liberator Raider. Yeah, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate that. Uh, so far, if you guys haven't tuned in for the previous hour, our heroes... Figured out that there is a man who is the rightful heir to the throne. His name is Philip McCrack. They met him previously, and now they're on a quest to find the man and let him know what the deal is. Get him on their side so they can once and for all take down the king. That's right. Sved, you're getting a card. Yeah. Um, Rex and his dreams of a PP army. Okay, so Rexnar, here's what's going to happen. 
before we went to break, one of the uh, Legion of Booty decided that you needed to give a speech to the people in Common Steel. Let them know about the booty. They're going to be combining that with Dom's new speech idea, which is you must give your speech about your dreams of your PP army. Come here, Rufflecock. Yes, we are also talking about the peepees and <sighs> booties. Yes, peepees and the booties. Indeed. Peepees and the booties? Poopies and peepees and the booties. All right. Let me change the background here. Hold up. Oh, and we're here. That's, that's what's... Oh, now we're over... Oh, okay. We are transporting everywhere. It is weird. Are we here yet? Yes. Yes, I think. Just Get down! It's time for Orby time! Okay, speech first. Speech first. Yes. Nothing's better than a big old welcoming battle cock. And I tell you what, nothing's also better than a big old battle cock right on top of your booty. Oh yeah. Is that what you guys like to hear? That is what I like mm, to hear. Praise it be, bless it be. You want your army of cocks to be around and in or on in the booty. Bless it be! Cheap, cheap, cheap. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Sved! Your card is, tis but a flesh wound. Player can't use their arms for 1d6 minutes. How do you keep getting all these? I don't know. You've been paralyzed. You've had, you've had no arms. Roll me 1d6. Shrunken. This card was made by CPU Ray. <laughs> you have all, all the things that could happen to you with your body. You've turned into a sheep recently. Twice. I have been sheep twice. <laughs> yep. Once right. was in tree. No more it's arms not, for five minutes. They fell from the back. Uh, the creatures until eight twelve. No more arms. Long live um, the creatures. Also, before that, I need you to roll me a persuasion because you are persuading the people of Common Steel oh. about the peepees and the booties. What'd you get? An eighteen. An eighteen. Plus. Rexnar. It's pretty good, minus. dude. Wait, what? I this am the all powerful arms, dice lord. All powerful dice lord with blue ah, hair. A 19. Nice, dude. There's some of them like, yes. Give bless it be. Dice. Oh, never mind. Reroll it. Lord, <laughs> and now it's a. The cards. They fell from the bat. Long live the creatures, hint, hint. What? Long live the creatures, hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. The cards. They fell from the bat. Your dice roll. Nudge, nudge. Um, long live the creatures. Is that what you want me to do? Take it for the 20 bits, Bosef. Cheers, man. You get a plus five, so that makes it a 10. Yeah. There are some of them well, that are like... A nine, actually. A nine. They're like, um, maybe. I don't know. And they kind of just walk away. You get that off your pedestal. You guys are standing here um, in front of the Rose Gold Inn. You're like, okay, well, I guess we got to search for this Philip McCrack guy. Um, and it's fancy time. So, put on the hats. The hats of the fancy. And don't worry. Rolf put on Sved. These hats come flying in out of nowhere and overwhelm your minds. It's the only way it's gonna work. We're waiting on Rex Narn, you guys. Yeah. Uncle Bo. Why all the periods? Apologies, He's I'm confused. He's putting up a fight with a hat. Um, don't worry, my friend. Just enjoy the show. Don't fight the hat, Rexnar. Just let um, it. Um, no one. This is the Join first us. time, by the way, Join that us. no one has won bingo oh, in God. the first Join quarter us. of the show. Um, no one Join has won bingo us. yet. At least I'm, I'm like, ninety-five percent sure that no one has won bingo yet. This Dom is the first time. Wait, he, did Mystics win? He said, did Dom help the Mystics win? I have not seen the faction bingo board. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, let me see here. <clears throat> mm. Uh, That's dangerous. Okay. I don't see five. Yeah. Where, where, how? You have not updated your book. Oh, there it is. Member, your faction makes army time activate. Rexnar talks about little peepees. You make a good clip. There is a mention of cookies. Um, your faction command incapacitates another faction's command. Mystics won. Look at that. With the help of Domelton. That's so weird to me. Domelton won. All right. 
Uh, Dom is the mystic mystic that needed. Okay, Rexon, are you good? Yeah. That you, is Dom I mean, Brady. Dom Brady. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mm. Dom Brady. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. So recently, I just lost my arms to counting too much money. Oh, this, oh. this gold bar is too heavy for you to lift. <laughs> just it's too, it's just too many of them. Oh. Oh. Well, that's usually what the, the help is for. <laughs> <laughs> You save money by not hiring the help. That means you have more money. Oh, yes, I'll figure this out. <laughs> Very good. Okay, you three begin walking around Common Steel City, trying to find this man. You know that he has something to do with wood, as Sved had said, unless you guys remember exactly what it was. You guys are wandering around Common Steel, uh, you know, walking. There are some people... Uh, gathered around, uh, not really too many people. It looks like some people buying some things from a fruit stand. You guys, you know, kind of walking past them. There's some other people in front of a home, you know, kind of talking amongst themselves. What are you guys going to do? Do you have any plans to find this man? First, I have to find my own. We ride at dawn, bitches! Okay, use his hands. Mm. Commit arson and die. All right, let me roll the card. Let me roll for the card. Do you guys have any plans? Well, money talks, so I say we just spend money until somebody does. Yeah, money. or we could we could call out Price in the city. Out the fire. We could call out in the city. Just uh, fill up my crack. That sounds like a poor. Fill up idea. my crack. I hire people. To fill up my crack. We could call to him. You are very quickly approached, Rolf, by a man. Holy shit, makes more fire. Okay, there's a lot of things happening, but first we're going to do this. You're very quickly approached by a man in a poncho that comes out of an alleyway and approaches you and says, You need someone to fill up your crack? No, I need to find someone named Fill Up My Crack. Oh, okay, never mind. The gods have gifted you an item. Ooh. Rolf gets an item. Mmm. <laughs> after a little while of you yelling that walking around after being approached multiple multiple times by guys in ponchos by guys wearing fancy clothes uh you mm. come to a home but while you're walking around they're zealots of the booty church <laughs> while you're walking around you first see okay let's do all these cards here we've got a lot of cards happening at once um no i need to die in the fire <laughs> Okay, commit arson and die. Um, you see, off in the corner, after a man in a poncho approaches you and asks you about your butt, he says, well, he doesn't say anything, but you see uh, someone who looks like a cleric uh, that may or may not have one strength. They have just lit a fire um, in a dumpster and then jumped inside of it. Um, and they're trying to die. But then, very quickly, a ghost shows up that has super strength. For some reason, this ghost is super strong <laughs> and starts putting out the fire. Ghost fireman? Yes. And Ooh. then... Exactly. And then Peter Pan shows up. Vampire Peter Pan shows up <laughs> and puts tries to push the ghost into the fire. Obviously can't do that. But then lights the dumpster on more fire and it starts to spread to a home. Ooh. You're doing it, Peter. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you three do? Uh, marvel in the fact at how poor this city is. I stand, <laughs> back. I stand back and watch the poor people burn. <laughs> it looks like the situation's dealing with itself. Yeah. The poor is... Putting itself out. Okay, what I need. Draw um, the card. They fell from the back. Mm. What is this? Mm. Yo! Did you upgrade to these nice rainbows cards? Nice rainbow, nice ass cards. Uh, a while ago, my friend, I know it's been a while since you've been here, but think of it at 10 bits. Um, DM's gonna draw a card, but first, um, what I need. Um, <laughs> what I need. Can I have my arms back? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You get your arms back. What I need is I need Amy to roll me a d20 to see how well she puts out the fire, and then I need Bo, I need you to roll me a d20 to see how well you keep the fire going, yeah? Uh, so Bo, roll me d20, Amy, roll me a d20, um, whoever rolls better is gonna win this situation. 
potion. Okay, uh, someone from Dom is getting a potion of ancestral rage. That's for Rolf. Your Nana's Nana come to aid you and guide your strikes, giving either advantage or a bonus to hit for 10 minutes. You get a potion of Nana. Rolf is only fleas, but more. Nana. Rolf is not here. <laughs> he tried to break out for a second, but I got him back in there. Okay. Oh, um, nice. Also, Rolf, you get Dragon Edge weapons. This looks cool. Um, what time is it? Okay. Um, fancy time is over. You get Dragon Edge weapons. <clears throat> Amy got an eight. Bo, did you roll? Bo, roll, or Amy's gonna automatically win. Uh, burn the burn the plebs. Yeah, what's up, King? Welcome, dude. Uh, Dragon Edge weapons. They look like this. Uh, this weapon is made from the harvested remains of a fallen dragon. With a property reclaimed claw or tooth, the resource can be forged into a simple piercing or you slashing weapon. Latent. Nobody's. Oh, Amy, re-roll. You got an eight. You got some help from Viper. Re-roll it. Dumb or er, Bo got a nine. The first time you hit a creature on your turn with this weapon, with an attack you that you had advantage on, it's draconic magic comes forth to deal an extra 1d6 damage. Uh, it's very cool. What's that? <laughs> that is said one for Bo! How does it feel? Oh, no, Bo! How does it feel, Bo? How does it feel? Broth does not All right. know where he has been or what, but... He has a new scythe for the farm to cut spinach and only spinach. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amy, your ghost puts out the fire. Uh, saving. Why do I look weird? Oh, gosh. Sorry. Uh, saving. The poor people got saved. Saving the cleric. Your ghost with super strength. The. Uh, you're a, um, a spirit. You carry the cleric around to the nearest medic, leaving the creature there by itself trying to light another fire, but you put out the fire so well because it got a nat one that uh, another fire cannot be lit on this dumpster. You three see this thing just standing over there and you're like, oh. That is a new one for Common Steel City, yes? Yeah. Yes. Oh, look at that. Ironhead's got second place in bingo. Very good. Oh, Don Brady. Good luck, you guys. Er, congrats, Don you guys. Brady. Yep. Did we get it? Uh, Mystics won first. He's like, you guys want to go win bingo? I'm going to join Let's Ironheads. Go win bingo. Let's go win bingo. Okay. After traveling for a little while around this town, seeing all that crazy-ass shit happening with these weird faction creatures and fires happening off in the distance, and you finding a cool item, you come to a home. You can see the side of this home is missing a huge portion of it, like something exploded, maybe. This area looks a little bit familiar to you, Rexnar, because you were here before getting explosive powder from a goblin. Oh, yeah. Next door to that is the home that you see. You see the side of the home is, is missing almost a little portion of it. You see there's a man standing outside who has long blonde hair. He looks familiar maybe someone that you guys seen on the road previously you approach him you say philip mccrack yes yes is that what you say that was like kind i of, mean kind of like a question. that sounds like a really bad idea to just ask someone that's true but rolf has never done this before so it is time to speak with your cucumber squirrel love pick up pick a player squirrel <coughs> dom says i feel better you're purple now congrats buddy um, back in purple, baby. You to Philip, Rolf. Talk to us about um, your squirrel love. Wait, this are you new. Philip? Who is Philip? Are you Philip? Could be. I may not know who you are, blonde man, but I will tell you one thing: there is something sacred and ancient in the animal kingdom, and it is that of squirrel love. It's a bit nutty, but you'll get used to the speed because they are very fast. Like rabbits, or no, more like squirrels, you know, because they are squirrels. The squirrel love, it happens so fast and jittery, you do not know what's going on. And then suddenly, ha, oh, another squirrel behind you, squirrel threesome, you did not see it come out of nowhere. <laughs> and you're like, oh shit, there's three squirrels there. Yes. But yes, this is squirrel love, and you must accept it. Okay. Because it's, it's, it's the most ancient thing you've ever seen. <laughs> All right. You accept the squirrel love. All right. Uh, now can I put my laptop away? I don't know. All right. Um. 
cool. You say that to him, and then he's like, uh, well, uh, I met you guys previously in the forest. Yeah, um, it's me, Philip. Uh, how can I help you guys? Uh, we, we would like you to come back to, uh, uh, Mr. Ralph's farm. Yes, you were so nice and gracious to us and offered us food, and this asshole flipped you off for no reason oh, yes, whatsoever. Like and yeah, now we would okay. like to extend the hospitalities. I'm very forgiving. By switching this to this. <laughs> okay. Okay. You would like to extend the hospitalities. How? Um, what was your name again? Oh, uh, my. I, I'm Rexnar. Sir Rexnar. Nice to meet you. I'm uh, not a sir, not a knight. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. He's a, you know he's what a boy. kind of qualifications you gotta go through to become a knight? Well, I, I've looked into it, The but... certification, the gold and time and resources. Yeah. You have to become a knight. It's absolutely outrageous, Philip McCrack. It's true. Yeah. Uh, no, bastards no, no, no. also you aren't allowed to be knights, and so... He is not even part koala. Yeah. How does that even fucking work? Pause. Play. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, but I will tell you. Uh, uh, how can I help you? Oh, uh, we just need you to come back to our uh, our farm. Um, uh, should we just tell him? Philip, yes. You are vital Natural twenty. Distance where we need you. Okay, I like that command. Ah, Big Jim likes it. Cheers, buddy. Sorry I interrupted you, Sven. Thank you for the 20 bits, Big Jim. Love you, buddy. Cheers to you, Big Jim. The biggest of gyms. Yes. Yes. This is the best dream I've ever witnessed. My head is spinning. Pause. Play. That is such a good compliment, Squirrel. Thank you so much. That's <laughs> huge. Thank you. My heart. Yes. Appreciate you. That's awesome. Um... So what were you saying? You can come back with us with your will, or you could leave your will behind here and just come with us. No, no, no. Why? Listen, you like to help people, yes? I do. You have a very helpful opportunity that you can help help us with. Do you guys need help? Yes. yes. However, okay. for the time being, we cannot tell you exactly everything about the thing that we are talking about. Oh. You just there's there's you can, people listening. Yes, all over the place. Yes, come and steal city. So we cannot tell it's you here. It's not safe to talk. About but it. if you come with us, we will mm. tell you what it is. And I promise this isn't like a common steal city thing with the poncho guys, where they're like, yes, we trust us. Just come to this alley with your butt lubed up, and you'll be fine. The word dom is banned for the next hour. Then sub. Uh, so <laughs> I'm glad you had you got that. No, no, we got it. Dom and... Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, just, we got it. It wasn't good. funny. Fine. Really good. No, like Whatever. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Motherfucker. I want you just don't get left. <laughs> that is true. Anyways, yes, you have an opportunity to help us. We cannot tell you exactly what it is right now because of the crowds and the people. We just need you back on their farm. We can tell you, and then you can help us in an insurmountable okay. way that would be very okay. beneficial for Intoxica. Okay, helping the place, helping the city. I will help. There's a lot of bad shit going on, and, and you know, if one person does one small thing good, over time that will build up and, and make one big good thing. And me, Philip McCrack, have dedicated my life to doing everything good that I can to help the people as best that I can. Philip McCrack. And, and I'll tell you one thing, though. I will come and help you guys, but first I, I have to finish this. And he, he points to the house, and it's all fucked up. You know, you guys are looking at it. There's an old lady comes, like, walking down the stairs, and she's like, Oh, hello! She's like, I have to help. Draw rebuild. a card. Draw a card! Boom! I have to help uh, rebuild this house. I must help this old lady. Time to sing and make Nana proud, yes? Uh, Rolf Bottom. Okay. Uh, true, we need to bait him into sing. Rolf is not a bot. Yeah, Rolf is not a bot. What are we singing? Uh, feel, feel good. good. Oh. Okay. Can All right, but go? first dialogue, y'all. They, they fell from the back. The one? That's you? That's, oh. that's the one? Okay, cool. 
Yes. Lexi! Is that 10 bits, Lexi? Thank you, Lexi! Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Cheers. cheers. Appreciate cheers you. you. Thank you for supporting the show. Yes, cheers to my elbow. <laughs> I can't see. Okay. We're doing the what? We must rebuild this house. Yes. Look, I'll come. Yeah. He's I'll doing join you. But pretty much. I've come to an impasse. There is an issue. Getting into town, I was <laughs> robbed by some hooded figures. They stole the wood that I was going to use to help rebuild this old lady's house. There was four of them and only one of me. There was nothing I could do. And of course, I can't ask the old lady for help. Why not? Because she needs a name. Chat, use name a thing and name <laughs> this old lady, please. She cannot give you wood. No, she cannot. Ralph this makes sense. Naked I mean, how long have you been? The old lady it? cannot give me wood. Who? Oh! Mouth shut. Player's mouth magically seals shut. Player must mumble and try to communicate with their mouth shut for the next one d six minutes. God, this card was made by Spooky Sprinkles. <laughs> this is for me, no? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Bo, we've already used Gertrude. Okay. Roll me a d six, Ralph. Ha. Haggis McCree, Boobus McSagus, Clarkit Russ, Griselda, oh, I like that one, Dolores Boreas, Sally McSaggy Tits, Uncle Berta, No Wood Amy. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Heart of Cash Ho. What? Heart, Heart of Cash Ho. Heart of Cash Ho. Beatrice Wheatley. Bun Hilda, Claire Kilt Russ, Uwu, oh, that was Amy Dezenu, Bertha Sagan Matitas. Sub. 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 Esther Everwood. My vote is for No Wood Amy. Everyone laughed <laughs> at No Wood Amy, so I think we're going to have to go with No Wood Amy. I'm sorry, Amy, but everyone <laughs> laughed. We love you. We appreciate you. You're an amazing mod and an amazing member of our community, but we're going to have to name this old lady No Wood Amy. That's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> 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 love you. We appreciate you. Oh, God. Since they're picking on you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Viper. Yeah, that's right. No hard cash ho. There you go. No hard cash ho. All right. Um, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> sorry, Dom. The coins. They fell from the back. We love No Wood Amy. We yeah, No Wood Amy's no the wood best. Amy. All right. Uh, sorry, not sorry. Okay. This old lady, No Wood Amy. Mm. She was my neighbor growing up as a child. She did a lot for me. Helped me through when I had no parents. So my mother worked a lot. I must rebuild her house. The men that stole the wood from me, I seen them. They ran down the street and down an alleyway. I want to stay here and make sure they don't come back to hurt No Wood Amy. But if you three can get me my wood back, <laughs> that's what she said, <laughs> then I will come with you to help you with whatever you need because I am helpful. And I know you guys. I met you on the road. So if you can do this for me, I will help you. So you want us to help find wood to fill up my crack? Yes. All right. Help me find wood. Fill up my crack. So we're gonna go find wood. Find wood for Philip McCrack. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The hooded guys that stopped you in the guys. Yes. They fell from the back. What are you doing? Mo with Amy after quest completed. <laughs> yeah. Huh. yeah. Yeah. But mm. her name will always be No Wood Amy. So. Yes. I give it a 10 minutes, Dragon. Mm. Perfectly fine. That's what I get for having such a flexible name. That's true. All right. <clears throat> Do you three agree? Mm. Yes. I don't think we can actually ever really say no to any of these quests. Well, you could. I mean, could we? we... <laughs> no, I mean, no. <laughs> can't we get hardware yeah. store to pick up more wood? If you would much rather go buy wood, you could. Potentially. But it, or... Can we just kidnap the old lady and fill up my crack? What? Kidnap an old lady and fill up your crack. Yeah. You're a terrible, Rexnar. I'm just saying. Oh, I forgot. We... Rolf can't speak. Either we get the I forgot. <laughs> I have a question before singing a song. Oh, yeah, we're singing a song. Uh, I messaged you on Discord. Okay. All right, let's, let's, get, let's get it. <laughs> 
Wait, how long did you have? No, uh, Dom, absolutely. Go ahead. Uh, we are we are testing the Wait, limits of this two. new command, and I want everyone to have fun with it. So sure do your thing, longer. buddy. I know what Dom's question was. I'm sure he does. Mm. Okay, Sven, remind me. Who sings this damn song? It's probably like, how often can I use oh. that pause command? Dan Farrell. And you are leading this, Sved. Yes. Mm. Yes, you are. So, as you guys walk <laughs> away from him and start walking down the street towards the alleyway that he pointed out, you're going to start singing a song because you feel accomplished. You they feel like excited. You. you feel ecstatic. Oh, I need the Sved They, come, though. they yeah. fell from the back. Oh, our hearts are dude. With yeah. the 10 bits. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Thank you so much. Our heart, dude, guys. <laughs> You guys rock. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, I hear tavern music. Ah, ah. I was like, this ain't song. It's not matching. matching. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you for the 10 bits, Bosif. We love you too, buddy. Okay. You are also Bye, buddy. fucking fantastic. Cheers. Yes, cheers. Okay. Cheers to you. All right, here we go. <clears throat> you guys ready? Yes. Ready? Yes. Sved, get it. You should stand up. Oh. And do the thing that you did. I gave you a day. I think I hear some chains jingling oh. around in the Desert pocket. Squaw. Desert Squaw! Desert Squaw! What about 100 bits? Cheers. Rex oh. Haha, oh. <laughs> drink! Thank you for the 100 bits, Desert Squaw! Dude, cheers! Yeah. Thank you so much. That's fucking fantastic. Thank you. Cheers! I'm gonna drink again, because I am thirsty. All right. Should we give him more room? Like, no, this would be good. Your head's a little out of frame. I am split. There you go. You're good. You're good there. All right. Here we go. Oh. Everybody dance. <coughs> oh, there's no music yet. No, not yet. Wow! I feel good. Nah, 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 nah. I knew that I would now. Nah, 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 nah. I feel good. Nah, 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 nah. I knew that I would now. Nah, 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 nah. So good. Nah, 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 nah. So good. Nah, nah. I got a you. Nah, 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 nah. Wow. I feel nice. Nah, 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 nah. Oh. <laughs> Play. <laughs> I think I hear some chains oh. jingling around in my pocket. Oh. 
shit. Okay, I really oh. freaking like this brand <laughs> now. Ha ha ha. Ralph enjoyed that. Yeah, well, okay. There goes uh, any of our of all, songs forever now. First of all, um, I know we're thinking about copyright, dude, but that was too fucking funny. Honestly, I think we'll be okay. Tonight we'll use it as a judge, but honestly, I think we'll be fine. That was so much fun. There is and, a and, and, <laughs> There we go. What, wait, what? Ben looks creepy as hell when he has his mouth open all the way looking into the cam. Two like a scene and more. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. No, that was so much fun, Sved. First of all, fucking good job oh. singing James Brown. That was that fucking great. Was guys, stick, round of applause for Sved singing James Brown. That was fucking awesome. Uh, also, thank you guys for, for the bits. Desert Squall, Uncle Bo, Big Jim with 100. Big Jim, thank you, dude. And Dragon, thank you for the 10. Guys, Oh yeah, 21 bits to Sved singing James Brown. Thank you again. That's your squad. Cheers. Hey, no wood Amy fucking won that uh, free for all. Did she? Nice. Uh, you're welcome no to the idea. I live Her for fucking no with everyone. Wood. Good work. Good work on everyone using the command too. I don't know if y'all heard, but I was dying of laughter over here. It was fucking great. They got it. I can't they wait to see that. clips. That shit was impossible. <laughs> you're lucky I just really, 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 really know that song. Oh At least Yo, I know exactly what they're talking about. 69! <laughs> Think for the 69 bits, Dragon Dude. That's Yo! That's oh. Oh, Think of the 69, brother. Oh. Okay. After oh. singing and pausing down the road, people staring at you. You guys singing your butts off. It was fucking beautiful. He's shitting his butt yeah. off. You sit. You hit the alleyway Stinky. and head over to the left. All right, you're going all the way down this alleyway. It's kind of dark and dingy. There's trash all about. You make your way all the way to the end, and it's just a brick wall. Well, when you guys please roll me insight or perception to look around, see what the fuck's going on here. Well, I have no Draw a card. Yeah, you have passive of uh, 14? Yes. Yeah. We oh. need to look for some. Who is drawing? Rexnar's drawing him a I card. Sounds good. Uh, I am I'm rebranding to uh, No Wood Amy uh, now. <laughs> you might as well. There you go. Reroll that bad boy. Oh no! I got oh, no. Rolf! Oh, ostrich hands! What do you mean, Rolf? It was supposed to be Rex. Rexnar! Ostrich hands! <laughs> you, plus five. you need to see. Wait, yeah, so thank you're you half bull, half man, half ostrich hand. Wait! Swarch's shredder. Okay, first we'll handle this, oh. but I'm not gonna forget about your thing here. Let me I got copy. plus 10, so it's 16. Okay, hold on. No, okay. Uh, but first, um, Rexnar, I need you to roll me. Yeah. Roll me a d6. It's That's for important. one d6 minutes. Sure. Um, ostrich hands. Rexnar's body disappears. All that is left is his hand. And he must do the ostrich Fuck! For the all six. For all six minutes. This card was made by Spooky Sprinkles. I made good usage of uh, something on the floor. Did you? Yes. Nice, dude. Well, there's not enough room for everything over here. Not enough room for your giant fucking horn. Well, my giant <laughs> fucking horn. <laughs> he has to use the PP as a. Oh! Could be. Dice out the box, pretty please? Dice out the box? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, who got who got a higher roll for perception or insight? I got uh, 6 plus 10 because of people. Okay. I did not. <laughs> so, 16. You guys are looking around. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Play. You're using my my guitar thing that I hang on the wall for my your horns. My guitar horse? thing. That's fucking great, my dude. Fucking... Oh my god. <laughs> Rex not so tiny now. It's <laughs> fucking like great. Okay. You push away some trash, Sved, and you see that there is a cellar door here that oh. has a lock Ow. on it. <laughs> They're smaller and sharper. I am good with locks. I just need to persuade it to open. Yes. I will. You will be... Okay, you roll. You you, you want to persuade it to open, but first... Adventurer is feeling lucky. I will use sleight of hand, but yes. Yanto! Yanto! Got you. I think that's right. the first time you pronounce his name right without being corrected. Damn it. I want to always be corrected, Yanto. I'm sorry. Yantog! 
There we go. Um, it's Yento. Yento. Dragon, you used to put me in coach command, which means you get to pick a name, all right, in a direction it's for your hard. character to kind of like, come and intervene right now and what the guys are doing. All right, you're going to be rolling your own dice for yourself, and you're going to be a part of the party for a little bit of time. You if you manage to survive and stay consistent for long enough, you might even make it back to the farm, like what happened previously with Dom's uh, Kaj and his awesome fiery whip. All right, he's still on the farm. We still have his card. I drew the card for you. You are a cultist with a CR rating of 18. All right, here are your stats on the background. I'm going to be That's managing all this saying, for you so and rolling everything guys. for you, but you are a cultist. <laughs> you can be a male if you want to. You don't have to be a female. All right, you said your name is Arnold Swartius Shredder. Uh, if that's what you want, Ornald, uh, that's what we will do. So first, before we activate your guy here, commit arson and die. Is that what you want? We could do that. But this command is kind of supposed to be more than that. Go ahead, Sved. You're going to roll me slide of hand. You're going to pick this lock. Roll it. Maybe. I got 14. Rexnar, where'd you go? I need that hand up there, buddy. He keeps I'm, I'm trying. All right, you're doing I'm good. I'm not sure how to talk like How's this look? See, it looks like Does this fun. look good? <laughs> it looks like you have it looks something great. in your mouth. <laughs> it looks great. I see uh, your teeth, Rex. <laughs> Those are your five. teeth. Get that hole, Spets. So you got a 12 plus 5, which makes a 17. You snap this lock open, and it comes right Thank off. Thank you for opening lock. As you do, mm, up the alleyway comes a man, a cultist. Another he approaches you guys, and um, it looks like you know it's pretty much Arnold Schwarzenegger, but royalty free. Schwarz okay, so actually, what happens is you guys turn right around after he pops open the lock and you see a naked man in the alleyway like this and he gets up and it's like dun 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 and he looks up and he's like I will come with you if you want to live wait what? I will come with you if you want to live the choice mean, between life or death okay, right now. Okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Sarah Connor? You know, uh, you, I say it all right a lot, Bo. Should I give you a cloak? You need to cover up your cock. No, uh, what? Um, sure. Okay. I wouldn't even say this. I is... cannot do a Terminator voice. I'm sorry. You Bob. really can't? I can't. Will you do one for me? Maybe I'll impersonate. Sarah Connor. There we go. Yes. <laughs> ah, bring me a cloak. Oh. Ah, fuck. Can't do it. There we go. <laughs> Run it back. Here we go. Here you go! Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm not naked. I will help you. No, think of fair. I'll... I'm going to do all the rules. I'm, I'm going, going to... to bend them and kill all I'm going them. to come with you. I need your cloak, your sword, and your horse. Ah, <laughs> cheats <laughs> any clip to think. I need your cloak and your horse. I'll... All right. That is better. You pop off the lock, you throw the man a cloak, and he goes, don't worry, I'm just here to help. And you swing open the doors. <laughs> when you open the doors, well, this thing smells nice. You wash this? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's 12 weeks, uh, 10 weeks. Of <laughs> it's nasty. It just smells like spinach. Okay, um, Rexnar, <laughs> yeah. your six minutes are up, buddy. Fucking thank God. Yeah. Can you do, you like, swing a open. Change? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> camera yeah. change. He's changing. <laughs> you just got to talk with your throat very angrily. Not to read, Uh, I was... I was selected to lead, not to read. Ah! Thank you for helping other heroes join the league. Give the tier ones up to Squirrel! Coolest girl, thank you so much for helping Squirrel join the Drug and Adventures League. I knight the giver so of knights. so mad I fucking missed whatever you guys are about right now. Cheers. You heard it. <laughs> you said impersonation. I can't do it. <laughs> Imp did I say impersonation? Impersonation. Somehow it's Russian. Some, yeah. Somehow you managed to. You could do all these voices, but you somehow managed to do drunken Arnold. So like, Schwarzenegger. like no, yes. I can do so many voices, <laughs> but there's like basic voices I can't do. Like Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger trying to do Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm not Arnold. I am Arnold <laughs> Schwarzenegger, <Schwarzenegger. laughs> who talks different. Little points well spent. What? 
I may also drink this, and I'm laughing my ass off. Hell yeah, dude. Cheers. <laughs> oh, shit. A grassy smoky with hints oh. of cedar. Spinach new fragrance from the Sped Collection. Swear oh, to God. God. Sprinkles nice. It doesn't smell too bad. But thank you, coolest girl. All right. Thank you for the gifted sub. Squirrel. <laughs> the new spray. Get some cheers in chat, man. <laughs> we had spin no, okay. spinach. All right. Uh, 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 Parfum du fromage et spinach. There we go. All right. So the doors swing open. Okay. As they swing open, you guys are hit with this weird smell. And all this smoke starts fluming out of the cellar. Corey Clund! Hello. What's up, Corey? Thank you so much for the follow. Well, Welcome to the shit, shit show. John, okay. if you're here, you son of a bitch. We hope you enjoy your stay, my friend. Cheers. Hello, Corey. Long Legs is here, too. Hello. Oh, my Greetings. Long Legs. It Hello. Well, welcome. The smoke comes fluming out of this cellar door, and all three of you walk down these stairs, slowly but surely, inhaling this weird fragrance that you pretty much have never smelled before. Once you get down to the bottom, there's a small, there's two small little swinging doors that open and you push your way in. Once you get inside, there are different kinds of people, elves, humans, commoners, maybe a goblin or two, sitting on what look like bean bags spread throughout this oh, complex. I know what this is. It's not too large, but it's not too small. It's this. real dark in here and the lights are very dim and red. Wait, yeah, red? you guys are smelling in all of this weird Shit. stuff. You don't know what it is, but this place is really hazy and smoky. I need all three of you, Fuck you. to roll me a con save. You son of a bitch! I know what this is. Also, I have to roll a con save. Actually, I don't. Dragon, roll me one d twenty. Roll me a con save for Arnold. Percent. Arnold that has percent. plus zero con. Weirdly enough. How the fuck? Hit that corner, that corner, that corner. I need that. Dragon got a one. He goes, oh, you're terrible. I'm passing it back. Thank I you. I'm just know. going to sit down. This is weird. You got it. You better. Dice. Better? Yeah. Oh, hey, you got to give a dice, Dragon. Reroll that bad boy. Oh, shit. No, give me the white one. Got okay. a seven. He's still like, oh, I'm going to sit down here. Oh, my God. If you what, need what me. That? You just call it. Well, I got a 10. An 8. You got a 10? Yeah. Uh, give a nice Rolf. What'd you get, Rolf? Reroll roll it. I, I both had a 3. Okay. Two the Vexner got a 10. What'd you get? Look good. Thank you for the host. Oh. Thank you, hey, Mommy. Long legs. It's Thank you so much for the host. Cheers. Appreciate you. Ya. Thank you so much. I mean, can, but it's still not the one regardless. Okay. Sped, what'd you get? Draw, Draw a card. I got eight. You got an eight. Rexnar got a ten. Rolf got a one. Rolf, you sit down right where you are. You now feel extremely high. Do you three remember previously when we talked about Common Steel City, the blacksmith's wife sold the golden hammer for what? The tar, the dragon's tar. The dragon's tar. This Chat. is a fucking intoxicant dragon tar den. Chat, I need you guys to use the name a thing command and name what heroin would be called in fantasy types. We've previously called it dragon tar, but I would like a fun creative name. Oh, fuck my creative. It could Goblin be heroin. Heroin could be. Goblin glue. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. You sit right down on the floor, right next to Ornalt. All right? Wait, Sved, is... you also slowly walk. You make your way about... Fuck. <laughs> make your way. Yeah. Cheers. Scrub. About 10 feet into this place, and then you lean over onto a beanbag. You're a little bit further in. Rexnar, you make your way a little bit further. I'm going to count that same as the first one. A little bit further... About 15 feet. I need you to roll me perception to see if you could see through this haze. Maybe see what you're looking for. All right, we've got oh. loads of stuff. Viper's neck. Ah! Did you get a three? Happy powder. Smoky boogers. Pixie dust. Calamitius. No, come. I got a one. Wall of persistence. Did you see my dog is in fourth place? And the dog was in there you Yeah, go. that's super fucking cool. Are you okay, Ralph? Yeah, look at so. Are you drilling? 
Here, let me get that. You first. put oh. dice. Now re oh, thanks, guys. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I got a 17. Very good, Rexnar. So, the previous drug we had in our in our, our fantasy drug that we had, we called it Fae Semen. So, I really like Fairy Nectar. That was by Sprinkles. There's another one that's really good. Um, Pixie Dust could definitely be something else. It's not kind of what I'm looking for. Um, um, <laughs> Ogre Snot's kind of good, but that also could be a different drug. So, what I'm thinking is also, we're going to go with yeah. Fae Nectar. Also known as Dragon Tar. Yeah, you two are fucked up, super high. Rexnar, you're actually kind of managing to, to get through this. You could feel Rufflecock on your head, chirping, huh? Where's keeping you on it's the on the, the table. Bird thing. Right oh, in front God of you. damn it, the bird's high too. You are kinda of high. You could you could he's chirping. Differently than normal. He's definitely also kind of high, but he's, he's, he's kind of keeping you awake Chief. through all of this. Like, huh. And you're walking Chief. through all this haze. Chief. And you're having a hard time. Well, but you see. The Drunken Adventures hey. League. Hey. Right here, Gaming, subscribe to Tier hey. 2. Tier yeah, 2. And subscribe for four months. Great. Yeah. Gaming. Um. Tier 2. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome here to the Drunken no. Adventures League. I, Knight the Royalty. No. Tier 2. No. Knight. Greyhead Gaming. Thank you. Cheers. I almost want to play Tool. What? Why? What? What? I have to grab me another beer. But cheers. Thank you, Greyhead Gaming. Nobody got that? Um, there was a card I was supposed to give. Was it to Rexnar? Who was the card for? I don't know. I'm I don't high. remember. Chat, help me remember. <laughs> I don't know, Purple Dragon. You see, Rexnar, you <sighs> and Rufflecock on your own, walking through this place. You see off in the corner, there are some hooded figures, two of them, guarding a wooden door off on the other end of this place. <sighs> Yes, indeed. And when we come back in 10 minutes, we're going to learn more about this place and what the fuck is going on Fred. down here. Fred. Um. What? Are you okay? Have you ever tasted table? I no, it doesn't look that good. I don't oh, remember who the draw card was for. So, You're we need a thumbnail pose. On it. You're just kind I of... want you three. You just let the wood sit in your mouth. The wood sitting in your... What? What? <laughs> okay. I need you three to act super high. That's the thumbnail pose. And then we need some thumbnail poses for... Um, from chat. Anyone got some thumbnail poses? That's not... It's actually pretty good. Uh, Rexnar, eat the pee-pee. <laughs> oh my god, I woke up in field. There we go. Where am I? Alright, good thumbnail pose, you guys. Hopefully I can snag a good moment of you putting the pee-pee in your mouth. That's what she said. We'll be right back in 10 minutes, everybody. Don't go anywhere. We need to animate that. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Drunks and Dragons, everybody. The show where the players are guaranteed to be more intoxicated than their characters, where you, my friends, can have an influence on what happens in the dang old show. Cheers, everybody. Thank you so much for continuing on and staying up with us on this lovely Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Everybody, cheers. And thank you for fucking being here. We do appreciate you. You guys are fucking fantastic. You're real ass An adventure. I hope you me. have enjoyed the adventure so far tonight. Desert Squad is in for loot. I got gotcha. you. Pen. There we go. Guys, so far, our heroes, our little band of heroes, being Rexnar, Sved, and Rolf, figured out that there was a rightful heir to Draw the throne. A card. And they learned, Rolf is drawing a card, they learned that he's in Common Steel City. So they must go to Common Steel City, convince this man <laughs> to join their party so they can get him to be the rightful heir to the throne. And Once they feeling lucky overthrow the king, Yanta, got you. <laughs> So, they went to Common Steel. They met the man, and he, they learned that he had gotten robbed. Some wood that he was going to use to build this old lady's house got stolen from him. So, our party 
tracked down where this wood may or may not have went and went down into what seems to be a fey... What's it called? Nectar. Fey, a fey nectar din, otherwise known as dragon tar. Rolf and Sved are down on the ground. Rexnar with Rufflecock are pushing through the haze. They seen that there was two hooded figures guarding a door towards the back. And that is where we return. Huh? Can I enter for loot? You shipped to Germany? I think so. I think T-String ships to Germany. I think so. I'm not sure, though, but I think so. Dragon Tar. Tar. Yes. Welcome back, guys. They're not doing so good. They're down. Come They're on. down for the count. Where's right. the hype? Sved. Please. Rolf. Rexnar. Yeah. I need you three once again to roll me a con save. Oh, what is this dice? Roll for contact high. 18. Rexnar, you're good. Uh, Rolf. I got a 25. Uh, 25. You're yeah. good. Rolf. Yep. Blue. Blue. Come on. Blue. There you go. Uh, 17. Uh, with your bonuses, you're good. Sved, roll me con save. Sved and then, Dragon, if Get you're your still in chat, roll me con save for Ornold. Kobe. Oh. That's why you missed. It's gone now. So did he. It's gone now. Find it. Thank you, but I don't need your opinion. You get bad dice. Oh, go. Cool. Got a six. All right, Arnold's Check. like... You, you just, just like, still just on the ground. Do not avoid the dice camera. Do not. All right, reroll the dragon. Oh. Did you move? Eh. Eh. There we go. Mm. Sved, you got an eight. You got any bonuses to con? I have a fat Ooh. zero. And dragon got a two. Mm. So Ornald and Sved still sitting next to each other at the entrance of this place, enjoying the effects of. The Fey Nectar. On the ground, on the bank. Feel like I should be searching for weapons. Oh. Oh. It's on the beanbag. Very good. Rolf, you get up and meet back with Rexnar. You two both together see two hooded figures guarding a door. There are goblins and elves and humans on weird chairs all around you in this place, just down and out for the count. What do you two do? All right, you take the one on the right, I'll take the one on the left. I'm just gonna try and take him straight through that door. It sounds good, bold boy, where's my staff? Oh, where's your staff? Mm. Not once above 10, I, dude, I know. Sometimes that dice spot just has it out for you, you know what I mean? The dice are not in your favor, my friend. So I'm a charge. What do you do? He's gonna charge? What do you do? You're thinking clearly again. Where is Thickard looking? Uh, both of them are kind of looking to the left, looking to the right. They're both kind of dazed from the effects as well of the Fey Nectar. They're kind of looking to the left and the right. They're not really paying attention too heavy, you know? Mm. But the door's here in the center. There's one here and there's one here. They're both just kind of looking around. Why, do you want to plan when he's looking away or something? No, what what uh, Rolf will do is I will also charge the my man, but before I actually hit him, I'll go, Hey! Oh my god, what's that? And nice. Then, and then I'll hit him. Nice. Roll me deception. And then, if you succeed, you'll get advantage on your strength. How about that? That is a 15, and I it's actually a 14, because minus one. Okay. Well, he's still like... He's kind of high, you know? So he's like, uh, was, uh, man. And he looks away. Rexnar, as he does that, the other one kind of looks away too. They're both now looking to the right. So I'm charging. Go. You want to charge? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Charge in, roll to hit. Roll no. to hit. You're like, I don't know who these hood figures are, but they're going. No. That's a dirty 20. Dirty no. 20. Dirty 20. No. Have we gotten a nat 20 yet tonight? No. Not one. Nope. What the fuck? Dirty 20, y'all. I don't want to take Service him straight through the door. 
Through the door. Yeah. You're gonna like hit him at an angle. Yeah. <laughs> through the door. Okay. It's a wooden door. It would work. So you definitely hit the guy. But then to go also through the door, I need you to roll me a strength check. It's just a bad night for rolls. Rolls, yeah. Swear. Uh, Swear. That's an 18. 18. Okay, you definitely do that. But first, Rolf, you're going to hit him with your stick. All right, roll to hit, my friend. That gay baseball bat. Yeah. Or whatever that is. Whatever a baseball bat is. I was swinging to The home run hitter. You got this. So it's either a 10. Uh, or a 5. A 5. Wait. A 10. So you, have, you have pluses to your staff. Yes, I you? do. I yes! Do. And would it, wait, would it be plus to staff and then also my strength with it? Arnold smash. Arnold's passed out. But I will be asking you to roll again for him to wake ah. up after Rolf hits. So, Yo, Arnold's yeah, passed out. Fed. I have plus nine to hit with this. Oh, yeah. So you hit. Yeah, yeah, you hit. Well, you have to re-roll because of rum tum. Oh, okay. I will yeah. re-roll. That's what the con save was for, my buddy so, Dragon. So, an 18. Yes. Or... A seven, a seven plus nine to hit, so 18 plus nine, whatever. I hit it. Probably. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You go, whoosh, and he goes, oh, no, cool, man. Pff, falls down. <laughs> what? Yeah. He liked it. Um, You smash to the door, but while that's happening, there's like a loud crash through the door, at which point Sved and Ornald or Dragon, I need both of you guys to roll me con save again to see if the smash wakes you up. Mm. Not cool, man. Huh? Ten. Plus whatever you have. Oh, zero. Like an alligator. <laughs> 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 Alright, you got a ten. Sved, is that what you got? Yeah. What did Dragon get? Your Thirteen. Oh, yeah. sweet, plus five. Nice. Oh, no, re-roll it, Sved. <laughs> I love that Tugboat, you used the emoji. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> All right, Dragon. Like Ornald wakes up. Oh, yeah. Shit. They I need time. weapons. They Can't do it. I got the 11. 11. Okay, oh, you know what? You already are. We'll take the 11. All right, it's good enough. You kind of get up, but you're still a little dazed. You walk around some of the folks to see... You with Arnold. Arnold kind of helps you, right? Up oh. out of your chair and walks you around. Oh, you walk you. around to see Rexnar smashing through this door. Every time. As you smash through this door on the other side, there are five hooded figures. One of them a little bit bigger than the others. They've got a huge stack of wood in the middle, and two of them are leaning over a table, almost drawing up plans for something. Yes. At this point, I need you three and Arnold to roll me initiative. Wait, okay. Uh, that's the wood that I need to fill up my crack. Yes. They have wood. That's the wood. That's the wood you need to fill up your crack. Yeah. Yeah. Rolf has 18. Oh. Two. Let hit the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Not good rolls tonight for this. Boy. Uh, Dragon got 11. Okay. Rolf got what? 18. 18. We ride at dawn, bitches! Woo! Dragon got a... Oh, someone got to give a dice. Who's that, Nixel? Get a list, know who. Dragon got an 11. Rexnar, what'd you get? 15. 15. Okay. Bad guys? It's dead boy. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, it's for speed. Reroll! <laughs> One nether. What is it? No, seven. Seven. But it is plus two! Nine! Yay! Fuck. Bad guys. Bad guy's got an eight. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rexnar, you smash through this door, killing this man to the stomach. He goes, ah, uh, not cool, man. Oh, that's the <sighs> dwarven You see, there's five of them standing there. Two of them are bent over a table doing something. Three of them are also spread out throughout this room. Mm. What do you do? Wondering why two guys are bent over a table. Next They're time. writing something, drawing mm. something. Okay. Yeah. They're asking you, for it. Well, they I will, yeah. Thought Rolf had an 18 on initiative. Uh, yeah, it is Rolf. Sorry, Rolf. What do you do? You see him smash the door. Same thing. What do you do? Mm. Mm. We cheers. That's what we do. Cheers, everybody. First, actual battle of the night. 
There were faction battles. Two of them, actually. I'm so excited that faction battle shit's going well. It's so cool. I love it. Uh, Rolf is going to strike with his staff of strike. Okay. All right, we're going to say this one to the left, one to the right, two bend over the table, one on the other side of the table. So, left well, or right? I would assume that Rexnar is on the right side of the room, so I will take the guy on the left. Okay. And right. then what I will do is since I am a... Is, where is he, like, ed, as I'm entering the doorway? Is he, like, in a corner on the He's left? Like, or is he, like... Like, just ten feet left? over to the left. Like, kind of looking down at the wood, not even paying attention to y'all. This is, like, happening, like, in a flash. You know? Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. So, after he charges in, breaks the door down, I will come in and step over and just kind of do, like, a wide swing of my staff over to him, and it's going to hit him right in the jaw. Nice. Yeah. Tight. Hell yeah. Roll to hit, my friend. Grouch catch summer and two. Oh yeah, fuck. Even the odds. Right, Sunni, what does that mean? Do you mean on our side or the hooded figure's side? I'm guessing our side because they have five, we have four. Thank you for reminding me, Sunni. Appreciate you. What'd you get? A fifteen? Plus nine. Plus nine. Twenty-four. Yeah, no, that hits. That hits. Throw me your damage, buddy. I'm just shuffling a little bit down here. 1d6 plus 6. Ooh. Ooh. What'd you get? 11. 1d6 plus 6 with that staff? Dude, hell yeah. 11. You go, <laughs> knock him out. He hits the ground. Uh, Suni, real quick, roll me initiative. <laughs> this is fucked up. You summon a gladiator that's a pacifist. Wow. <laughs> that's fucked up. That is fucked up. He's like, whoa. Super high, man, but I'm here. He kind of stumbles up out of one of the chairs and he's like, I'll help, but I'm not gonna hurt anybody, man. <laughs> Can't we just talk this out? <laughs> oh, no, okay, before the end of your turn, though, Rolf, you must praise the booty. Mm. Rolf to the hooded guys. Praise it. That's, that's what. That's how I do it to the hooded guy. Did it? Oh, yes. Viper said again. Double praise. This is a double praise. Be the booty. Make it good. Double praise. Wait, I need, I need to say the words because yes, that's how you properly praise. To the father, the son, the left cheek, and the holy rim. Praise be the booty, you assholes. There you go. Roll yes. dice for peaceful negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Thank you for the 10 bits, Dragon. Also, Sunni said, I'm there. It's me. Cheers. The gladiator, a pacifist one. Ain't no men, brother. Hell yeah. All right. Sick ass. <coughs> you guys nail it. Um, did, Sunni, did you roll me? You got a 14. Okay, I'm going to add your initiative here, which means you go. N actually, Rex knows first because you get a 15. Rex, no, you're in this room as well. What do you do? No! Oh, shit. No! Oh my god, they're not in this fucking room. Shame! Oh my god, Shame. they're not in the room. Good luck! Pause. <laughs> Play! No! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Pause. So I'm gonna go and do a barbarian raid. That was almost really good. Good try, Sprinkles. Which I realized I was using the wrong roll chart for Barbarian Wild Magic. Were you? Yes. What was... Okay, it's called Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. We're yeah. using classes that are new to this past couple months. And Rexnar's Barbarian is actually as a subclass that whenever he goes into Rage, he uses Wild Magic. For those of you guys who are actual D&D nerds and pay attention to that type of stuff. So that's what he's doing. So I got a three... Uh... An intangible spirit which looks like a... Flump or a pixie, your choice, pixie, appears within five feet of one of the creatures of your choice. You can see 30 feet in front of you. At the end of the, each turn, the spirit explodes. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. And each turn, the spirit explodes. Each creature within five feet must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 1d6 damage until your rage ends. Nice. So I want to put that like right in between the two guys that are bent over the table three guys okay it's so like right in the center of the table yeah I'll put three it right in the center of the table okay tight you're gonna blow the three guys at the bent over on the table i yeah. am most certainly <laughs> gonna blow the three guys you're gonna blow the three guys the that are bent over the table 
Isn't that so what you always do with you those can three get, guys bent over? So you can get the no, wood for guys. Philip McCraft. Oh, it's five guys. Yeah. Five guys five with guys. wood that are bent over the table and you're going to blow them. Well, we uh, need to get the wood to fill up my crack. Draw a card. And if uh, I have to blow card. three guys yeah. to get Take the wood to fill up my crack, I will do what I have to do. It's yes. all for the it's all for the safety of the realm, you know. Yes, bold boy. We will do this for the farm so, and the realm. Is it on their turn or on your turn they have to make a decision? Uh, at the end of the turn. At the each at the end of the current oh, turn. So every so turn. Be my turn. Every turn they blow up. Right? You said every current turn. At the end of the current turn. Oh, so it'd be current. just my turn. Okay. Okay, Is okay. it just once that it blows up yeah, or yeah, it yeah. stay oh Yeah. Every uh, every time he ends his turn. Oh yeah. but I thought we were going to blow them multiple times. I will do what I must. Well, if we have to blow them multiple uh, times to get the wood to fill Do you my feel crappy. lucky, Sved? Well, Next roll. If you roll an odd, it's a nat one. If you roll an even, it's an auto nat twenty. There we go. Um, on your turn, though, of course. Yeah, All right, Rexnar, you go into a rage, and then what do you do? And then, okay, so the, the exploding fairy is there between those three. I want to hit the guy that was on the left that wasn't the guy that Ralph hit. Okay, so the guy on the right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how this <laughs> the We're, on we're the trying right. to figure this out. <laughs> okay. You painted the picture, I'll... and I'm just, I'm not. You go into it. a rage, and then how do you hit him? I'm going to hit him with my horn. Okay, so you're going to stab into one dude, yep. let him off, turn, and stab into another dude. Sounds good. Roll to hit, buddy. I'm getting real tired of this course. We have 700 quotes. We have more. We have 705 quotes, you guys. Yay. That's awesome. Mm. If we have to blow them multiple times to get the wood, then we will. <laughs> Sorry. What'd you get? A 15. That's a hit. Well, buddy. I got a 19, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, tight. Uh, roll me your damage, my friend. Where's the team? Two plus four. Six. Nice. Six. So you impale him up yeah. against the wall. He's not fucked up, but he kind of is. And then um, he took he's just my second. Give a dice. Wait. Am I not on damage? Not yeah, on no, damage. go ahead. Damage is it's fine. Oh. Yeah. A little better. Three. I got a seven. A little worse. Okay, tight. He takes a little bit of damage. It's not too heavy, but he's like, oh, God. You know? And then you're going to use your second attack to what? Yeah, just to headbutt him really hard again. Okay, tight. That's the wrong one. Well, fuck it. Leave it. Yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> definitely nope. not. You miss? What is definitely it? Definitely miss. A two. Yeah, yeah you definitely I got missed. A two. You tried, but you missed. Okay, now I need deck save for the dudes around the table. I mean, to do 20. I'm gonna I do don't all know what to base that. I'm gonna do all three of them with one roll. Yeah, but what are they trying to be? I don't know. Give have a dice. Oh, here you go. Rexnar. Yeah, nope. Not a little that. better. A little better. A little better. A little better. Not, not great. Enough, um, we're gonna DC twelve. Yeah. Well. Fourteen. Alright, so they explode. They take half damage on the explosion. No boofing. No, they just don't take any. No boofing. Went to bed, squad. It's either or. Either or? Yeah. Half damage or? No, no damage or full damage. Okay. It explodes and it kind of like pushes. Your dice right. roll has been oh, I got a minus five. It explodes, so take full damage. Roll damage. Yay! Thank you, Rum Tom. Take four damage. Hell yeah. Them. All four of them. Their faces are kind of black. You see the table is kind of black. It kind of like, it's almost burnt up a little bit of what they were working on. No. Yes, heck yeah. Okay, so the gladiator that Suni summoned, the Iron Head, is going to kind of run into the room, look around, see what's going on, and be like, I'm just here to help the wood, man. I'm just, you know, he's going to step off to the corner. And then <laughs> it's uh, Sved's turn. Wait. Who's the, oh, it's Dragon's turn. It's um, Arnold's turn. He goes in. Oh, yeah. I'm here to terminate you. I'm here to terminate you. And he pulls out a bow and goes. 
gonna shoot a couple arrows off. Him Have and you D20. ever seen that movie before? Yes, I've seen all of them. <laughs> You're not that Dude, I can't do the fucking voice, okay? Sixteen. All right, he's gonna hit all. <laughs> he's gonna do a D4 damage to all these guys. Wait, actually, wait, wait, longbow? wait. Sorry, sorry. I'm not supposed to roll. Dragon, he's still here. You roll. All right, you're supposed to roll for this. Sorry, that's my bad. This is your 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 character. You roll. Um, is Arnold dead again? No, he's not. You roll. He's got a twelve. Okay, now roll me a D4. I'm gonna do some damage. One D6. D6 is fine. He's gonna do four damage to the three guys in the back. It's Arnold Swartz, man. Are you sure? Of course, about he's that? got an automatic longbow. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? I, I'm Arnold. <laughs> I, now you're, now you are doing this. Thing. Come on, man. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh no! Yeah. Okay. Oh shit! Not he does no some damage to the three sitting either. out back by the table. Then it's Svet's turn. What do you do? Take a moment to collect myself. <laughs> okay. Okay. I would like snuff <laughs> to coat poison on my dart. Nice. Where the fuck my dart go? <laughs> It's the best How are you always losing See? Anything. Tugboat's on my side. Love you, Tugboat. Oh, it's here. I would like to coat poison on my dart. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Here, I'm going to do a really good impression. Rolf, help me out. Uh, I'm doing the impression now. You see me? You can't see my lips because I'm covering my mouth with my hand, but I am doing it now. Uh, 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 I am pointing at the screen and making hand gestures because this is what acting is. It was a great impression. This was great. A lot Best better than I've the last seen. 20 times. <laughs> All right, so you coat your dart? Yes. And poison. And then, then. I throw my dart into the room. Into the room? Yes. Okay. Hoping to hit they someone that isn't they my friend. All right. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Roll I'm to hit. still a little high. Yeah, you high ass. Roll to hit. Oh. We got 10 minutes from Desert Squad. Thank you, Desert Squad. Appreciate you. Cheers. Thank you for the tickets. Push. Push. Oh, it's leaning. Okay, wait, 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 you said odd, I get one, even, I get 20! That's a six! Two yeah! Points. No natty 20s yet tonight. Six sucks. Six no, is gonna fool, miss. No, that's natty 20! Natty 20! Because natty natty the the I'm feeling lucky! Even the Oh! Because it's auto! Yay! Yay! Because of the car! Do you feel lucky? He got an auto nat 20. All right. I use card, you can't give a dice! Yeah, you can't give a dice on the card, sorry! All right, here we go. So, you throw your dart in there, and it goes right into the head of one of the dudes standing by the table. And you can see the poison drip down his brain, and he turns over and looks at you, and his eyes go kind of green, and then he falls and hits the ground. And then I make sure we make eye contact from 40 feet, and I'm like... And he's like... She's dead. There we go. That is the last thing that All man right. saw. <laughs> uh, you still have bonus actions? You want to move into this room? Oh, high? No. Anything? No? Still high. I was okay. like, oh shit, I hit him. Stay over here. Okay, good. It's bad guy's turn. Uh, the dude that you headbutted, uh, Rexnar, is gonna. Rolf Upper. Right. You're trolling again. I don't know what that means. The dude that you headbutted, Rexnar, is gonna pull out his sword and try to swing at you. He's gonna try to do it. Here we go. Here we go. Where's the 20? Where's the 20? Did 20. they? Did they mean? How many twenty? It's over there in front of you, Ralph. Did they mean give a card? Yourself. Give a card. To uh, uh, draw a card. Draw a different card. command. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't got it. Roll the dice. You ain't got it. What do we get? <laughs> Is that the bingo thing? That's a twelve. Not get it. Does that miss? Yep. Okay, nice. He misses. <laughs> The other two guys take their turn getting up from around the table because the explosion the knocked yeah. them down. And it brings it back to Rexnar's Rolf's turn. What do you do, Rolf? Where are the nearest... Roll a card. <laughs> Where are the nearest enemies? I was enemy? trolling, right. Where are the nearest enemies to Rolf? Um, across the room, there's one that Rexnar is fighting. And then a little bit adjacent over this pile of wood, there is um, two guys around a table. They're about 15 feet from you. The other one across the room is about 20. Could I attempt to strike two enemies at once? As a monk? Don't you have bonus? I'm pretty sure you can by spending a Kai point. Yeah, it's like you hit five. Yeah, as a monk. I was like, as a fucking ranger, I could hit twice. I want to do it with this staff in a cool way. Don't hit me with the staff. You want to like pull it in half and go. No, I want to 
How close are they? I'm scared. You could run over we 15 two and feet. And a half feet. You could the hop on the table and spin around and hit them both. Oh, shit. Please don't spin around on us. No, 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 We're no, ducking. no. I wish to, like, dive through the air between them and hit, like, literally oh, like so this bad. as I'm flying Let's pretend through the like air. Play. Yeah, Let's pretend no there's like this long that, table, yeah. and then you are gonna jump across it with your rod and hit two people. Draw a here. Oh, car. Here. You're gonna jump across it. Yes. Yeah. That's oh, what wait. I want. Okay. Well, but you're me... gonna spin a kai oh. point to hit them both. Okay. Oh, shit. But I need to roll two d20 to, to hit them both. Yeah. Rexnar is drawing a card. Yay. That sounds terrible. Oh my god. Have you ever seen the dog with the stick trying to run between the door? Yeah. I guess we just gotta let our dog figure it out for himself. <laughs> That's funny as shit. Where is my key point? <laughs> That's what I imagine. Uh, ram the rod in the ground. And so Roth walks into a bar. The <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, That's the joke. Where uh, do I find my key point? Rexnar. Uh, should be in, you uh, got Reggie'd. Uh, you reach into your pocket and find a random item mm -hmm. left by the reverse rogue. Features Any item take. that you might need or want. Should be there somewhere. Oh, yeah. arts. Yeah. Like how many do uh, I have? You shit. have unarmed strike bonus. What could I possibly be? How many points are here? Yes. Um, and then uses. That's your uses. What that's could you what need? What you could do with it? And by spending points. How many do I have right now, though? You have that uh, many. I find like okay. these like, sure. like metal cage things that have a bunch of spikes level. on them to put them over and my oh. horns to make them more deadly. This makes sense. Yes. I'll have to explain. Okay. You All ever right. seen Lord of the Rings where they have like, like, like the, the wires going across and there's like spikes sticking out and it's all scary? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I want one of those. Okay. You want to upgrade your horns by putting spiked chains on your horns. Yep. So Sorry. this is, uh, my staff is plus nine. Yes. Okay. So that is a 16. 16. For the first one. The second one, whew, not so good Ten. for the second one. Ten. Ten? I don't yeah. know. Twelve, so, twelve, twelve. Twelve? Twelve. Okay, so you're going to miss the second one, but you're going to hit the first one. Hmm. Bit across. Give the dice. Oh, look that. Reroll. <sighs> for the second, okay, little. Thirteen. 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 You know what? We'll take it. Thirteen hits, twelve Yeah, you hit not. them both. Um, but what, what I need you to do, um, Rexnar, Sved, move out of the way. We're going to let Rolf... Kind gladly, of, um, fucking gladly. We're going to let Rolf show oh. us. Play. <laughs> We're going to let Rolf yes. show us. He farted in that pause. Did y'all hear? Get out of the way. Rolf, I want you to go from left to right. I want you to run across and pretend like you're hitting both these guys with this staff. Uh, uh, that's what I want you to do. Oh, so shit. if only there was someone who could lift me up. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> this is this is it. Like, I'm super manic. Yeah. All right, do not know. Stand, I as, could try. stand as far oh. back to the green screen that you can. That is a horrible time to pause. There's nobody on screen. Wait. Play. I could try. I could yeah, definitely you could try. try. What if you did like? <laughs> did that like on all fours? <laughs> <You're scared. laughs> and then on top of you, yes. Could you do that? Or no? I don't think I'm tall enough. Uh, horizontally. Okay, fine. Um, if you won't do it for you, I'll do it for you. <laughs> oh God, you're so fat! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am flying across the room. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am so oh. athletic! <laughs> Play! Oh my god! <laughs> you almost had okay, it! Okay, let's try the second one. <laughs> I think we might have better production. <laughs> 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 Pause. <laughs> yeah, I did. Play. <laughs> yeah. Yes, like this. Are you, are you ready? Yes. Ah! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this is how I take them. This is how a true warrior enters battle. <laughs> Okay. Oh fuck. <laughs> I loved all of that. Alright, yeah uh, you don't roll me damage. You fly across the table <laughs> holding a bunch of stuff. Show up shit. Hey, thank you so much for the host hammer. <laughs> thank you, you slide across the table, hit both the guys, knock both of them out, they hit the ground, you scatter Jeez. tables everywhere. Um, there's only one enemy left right now, it's Rexnar's turn and it's the man standing right in front of you. What do you do? <clears throat> I want to grapple him and use all my strength to hold him by his neck. Okay. Roll to grapple. That was fantastic. I loved everything about that. I loved the sped sled. <laughs> the sped sled! It was a sped sled. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> and that was a 19. I got a 20. You got that. I was looking at that. I had the book. Yeah, dude. The sped sled was great. 19. You pull him up up against the wall. You're almost choking him out. What do you say? What do you do? I want to intimidate him. Okay. I want to hold him up. I'm going to be like... Look, you son of a bitch. I will never allow anybody to steal wood that is used for filling up my crack. So, <laughs> you have one choice. Tell us who hired you to steal the wood or die and he's here like, he's like, like everyone else. We, we stole the wood so we could build a hot box. For fey nectar. Oh my god, you fucking animal. We were gonna get high, dude. Ah, oh, you bunch of That's druggies. it. That's it. Ah. So we just killed a bunch of teenagers that wanted to get high? Yes! Fuck! Yes, you did. We're fucking horrible! <laughs> I'm gonna set him down and I'm gonna let him run away. Wait. What? I catch him as he's running out <laughs> and I stab him in the side. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> And I whisper in his ear, it's canon now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, no, no, you gotta whisper it though. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Whisper it. Sloth ASMR. It's canon now. And he goes, it's canon now. <laughs> Great, okay, what beautiful. All right, um, there's a big stack of wood now in the middle of this room. They're like legit, it's like plywood, straight up, with some two by fours, but they're about eight feet long. Um, there's some plans on the table. You guys go over and expect the plans, and legitimately they were trying to build a hot box for a fey, um, whatever it is. They're trying to build a hot box so they can bring you super high inside of a box, basically. Um, that's all they were trying to do. Um, you search around. You guys, roll me um, perception to see if there's anything else in this room. Maybe you'll find for any kind of reason. Well, Maybe a number for these kids' That's parents. gone now. <laughs> <laughs> They're orphans. What are you going to do? I got an 11. You got an 11. Anybody else get higher than 11? Oh, I got higher than 11 earlier. You got dice. This is eight for you, Sped Boy. No, no, I didn't. Okay, Rex, now re-roll. Re-roll for you. I'm number six with extra dip. I got a 12. Nice. I to bet. Rolf, go ahead. And a... I think I have a minus two perception. Okay, Rex, now, you find yourself Give some... Give the dice. Ooh. Rolf, you could re-roll as well. Mm. You find yourself some fey nectar. nectar. A tiny little bag of it. It's black stuff in a bag. Um, it's not a lot. You also find like eight gold pieces scattered amongst the table oh, and um, a spoon. Oh no. Rolf has a six. Well, I could always use a spoon. Fay, fairy nectar, spoon fairies, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> God, not the spoon <laughs> fairies! Yeah, Rolf was visited by the oh, spoon shit. fairy. Hey, what the hey, hell? Oh, 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 Get this up! 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 Get Awesomeness, yes. beautiful knight, Very giver, nice for traitor, oh, how resurrector, how giver of the drunken adventurers league, Sarah Gorn. Cheers, thank Good you. Too. Yes, I will drink again. Don't Natural you? twenty. Fucking beautiful. Thank you for twenty bits, Lexi. You're awesome. They're gonna fly. You live because you live to see us. Both my game. Cheers, cheers. 
<clears throat> we lived, yes. We lived! We all lived. Can we have some hype and chat for they Sarah Gard? They held oh, him Sarah Gard! Yes. Woo! 90 bits from Uncle Bo! Yo! Cheers! I just read my fight for son. Hold on. Thank you for the 90 bits, Bo. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. I want to name the spoon the golden spoon of spooning. When it is in your mouth, it makes you want to spoon the first person you see. We'll take it. What? <laughs> God damn. Thank you, bro. It's canon now. Oh, hey, yeah. Uncle Bo is gifting Uncle one, Bo, two, yeah, one yeah, sub. Yeah. Who do you gift it to? Dragon. Dragon. Dragon, cheers, oh. buddy. Thank you, Uncle Bo, oh, for you, Bo. helping Dragon join the Drunken Adventures League. Oh, Uncle Bo, is. I knight the giver of gifts. Giver of gifts to the Drunken Adventures League. Cheers, Uncle Bo. Cheers to you. Excuse me. All right. You three, pick up all this wood. Carry it through the drug den and up the stairs and outwards. You get help from Arnold. He's like, I... I'm good at carrying wood. Uh, Do you pick things up and put them down? I pick things up and put them down. It's getting better? Duh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you guys carry the wood together out to Philip McCrack. You set the wood down out in front of No Wood Amy's house. The guy, they fell from the back. Duh. I'll be Here's back. the wood, No yeah, Wood Amy. Back. Duh. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the 10 bits, Mr. Spock. It's good at curling. That's right. He set the wood down. Philip McCrack comes out and he goes, Guys, you've done it. You've brought the wood to me. You've given me enough wood. Now I, Philip McCrack, <laughs> will use this wood as Philip McCrack to rebuild No Wood Amy's home. You three spend the rest of the evening with... Philip McCrack, as he does. Thank you for another hero. <laughs> hey. Hey. Yeah, hell yeah. Sarah Gorn, give the tier one sub to no boop Amy, or should oh. I say no wood Amy, or should I say no boopleton Amy? Weed. One of our favorite mods. Amy is the best. Thank you so Weed. much for gifting a sub, Sarah, to Amy. Cheers. Thank you so much. Bullpuck. I dub the night giver of subs to the Drunken Adventures League. Cheers. Bullpuck. Can you do that twice? Is that legal? No, that is illegal. <laughs> Thank you for helping other heroes join the league. There's Yo, more weed. They're having they're having a time. Wait, weed. Uncle Bo gives it a tier one sub to the Grassroots community. Forty six, Bo. Nice, to dude. Moon he gives the sub to Moan Man. Moan Man. Cheers. Thank you so much, Uncle uh, Bo, for getting man. the sub. Uncle Bo, dude. Uh, cheers. I knight thee, Uncle Bo. Oh. Giver of gives. Of the Drunken Adventures oh. League. Thank you so much. Can we get some hype and chat for Sarah Gordon and Uncle Bo, title? guys? Cheers. Doesn't seem like a very special title. Giver of gifts? Only a couple people have the night of giving. With a wood. We just watched yes. you give us out the three people. The same two people. Twice. <laughs> yeah, twice. you can't give it out twice. That's illegal. I can give it to them as many times as they want. Well, they it want. cancels out the first giving and now it's guys? to taking. Natty one. A dragon shows up. Both you guys take 100 damage. Don't back sass me! <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, good things Fed has you three. is protected <laughs> Philip, <laughs> McCrack, <laughs> Philip McCrack, what you do with this food? <laughs> you three spend the day hanging out with Philip McCrack, and he fixes up this old lady's house. Without awesome. a wood. He legit puts up the wood, he paints it, he does a great job. He thanks the old lady, he helps her eat even. He gives her some gold, oh, the last gold that he has in his pocket, and then he exits No Wood Amy's home, the old lady. He approaches you three, and he says, all right, job well done. You ready Where to now? Go save the realm. Let's go save the realm. Time to go save the froth. Back home. Back to Pepperidge Farm. We must travel through their woods. You just really uh, like saying. We must the travel wood. through the woods. Ralph is obsessed with their wood now. Crush beach wood. <laughs> Who is gonna give a speech on wood? Me? Is it my turn? I will tell you about wood. And no wood Amy's home. She needed the wood to build her home, but then she had pause. Uh, <laughs> Play. But then she had no chrome. Amy tried her best, but had no rest. And then she decided pause. to go home.
play. Then with the tome and had no dome, she decided... Oh. Play. To read the tome. And then in a flash, a man with lots of gas helped her fill her gash by the name of Philip McCrack. Okay. I have no idea what the last 30 seconds of what the fuck you just said meant. But it rhymed. But it rhymed. <laughs> it's like you had time to think about the things you were saying before you said them. I know, them. almost like 10 seconds, it's weird. It's, it's weird. They fell from the back. Look 10 minutes, Desert Squad. To me, it Here. seems seamless, though. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, it looks yeah. flawless. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Very good execution. <laughs> Gash and crash and glass. Okay. You three go to your car. Do you talk to Burroughs? You pet him. He's like, hello, Ralph. Welcome back. Forced affection from the yeah. DM. He's like, I have been talking to the owner of this inn. What was his name? Harold? Yes. He petted me and gave me carrots. Ralph, if you not give me carrots, maybe one day I'll go to Harold instead. Rolf will give you carrots. Rolf has carrots. You I better. Oh, Rolf, I have seen you riding a dragon. Michael Bublé's. No. You ride the dragon instead of Burroughs. Is Burroughs not good enough for you? You are good enough for me, Burroughs. I will give you strawberries from Pillow. Okay. Yes, Pillow likes you. Promise. Him. I promise. All right. Yes. Yeah. And then he neighs, and uh, you see Harold wave. You guys hop on your cot. And head back home. You three are riding with Philip McCrack on the cart. And he starts asking questions. He says, hey, so what's this thing we need to talk about? There's nobody around. Tell me. Philip McCrack. Well, well you. The woods are recent. Me. Must wait until we get to our destination. <laughs> the woods. Are listening. Yes. The woods. The woods. They are the, listening. The woods. The woods? The woods. Who the hell are they woods? The woods. <laughs> Is they woods? It's not safe here, Is boy. Is it a specter? The woods are listening. The woods. They will ask you what you do in these woods, but you will not give do it. dice. Because you are not <laughs> safe here. They will ask you, give a dice. Yes. Trolling. In these woods. In these. They, Who are alone. they woods? We're in the woods. We're in the woods? We are in the woods. We're in the woods. Yeah, Fuck, so we cannot tell you here. Just yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and after about a day of traveling and Fuck. silence, complete silence after that small interaction, you guys finally make it back to Pepper's Farm. <laughs> complete oh, no. silence. <laughs> Just... We said the woods for 20 Wait. minutes. No, we will play the woods silent so everyone knows. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey, you can fucking hear me. The woods? They can't hear me, right? I hope they not. can. Oh. Wait, they can? Oh, shit. <clears throat> This is in my mind, Barrows. Go faster. <laughs> Going as fast as I can, Rolf. I got four fat asses on my cart right now. Well, I'm sorry. This shit is awkward. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> you should probably talk to this Philip McCrack guy. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. Then after this awkward-ass silence for a long-ass time, you finally make it back to Pepperidge Farm. You enter inside. You see Helga as you enter because she's very large. She's helping to tend to the spinach by herself. Oh! Yeah. Oh, finally, a worker pillow. that actually does shit! Pillow with the blind man. <laughs> oh, Empire management, we don't do shit now. Mm -hmm. Pillows with the blind man out by Michael Buble. Pillow is helping Michael talk to the dragon to soothe him and help feed him. Wait. And you kind Buble of hear a little the bit. Dragon. And, then, and then Pillow's like, no, tell him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phil Pillow is helping the blind man talk to Michael Bublé. Yes, you said it the other way. And around. you see, and, and you hear Pillow kind of like, "Well, tell him he's not allowed to eat the yak. Well, tell him he's not allowed to eat the chickens either. He has to go find his own food." Or what spinach. Yeah, he can eat spinach if he wants, right? And uh, 
Vegetarian dragon. You guys make your way into Pepper's Farm. Oh, you you get off your cart. You get off your cart. And Philip McCrack steps off the cart too and he goes, Well, very nice place you got here. I appreciate it. So, what now? Now, now you will have to begins. wait even more. We're going to walk into the fucking the war room. And you're going to go to the war room. All right, you <laughs> walk down in the war room. You meet up with Becky and Stonequeef. You walk down there, and he goes, oh, hello. How hello, are you guys? Fart. And they're kind of like shocked. They go, oh, you found him. And he goes, oh, yeah. Yes, you said he was unbelievably hard to find, but he was yeah. very easy for them. They find. found me. I was just in <laughs> common school. Yeah, and so this is when I got turned to him, and I said, now, this is when uh, we rob you. So take a, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, okay. Ha <laughs> ha, you should have seen that look on your face. It's yeah. a prank, bro, it's a prank. No, no, so the real thing is you're the king of the whole fucking realm because you're a bastard and your mom fucked the king and you were born. Yeah, so uh, we'd need your help to take I'm over the- I'm the what? Wait, you, back up a yes. second. Blue haired man, wait. Yeah. Uh, what he's saying Bull, is- Bull, explain. Is that when a, a a woman loves a king very very when much. When a man oh. loves a woman, they 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 have sex and then they have a kid. So um, yeah, your dad didn't stay with your mom, so your mom had to go and leave. That's not how that works, Rex. What? I, I don't. Okay, know how sloth. Sven, okay. What what is this? So the king has a wife, but like Willie, he fucks many bitches. I'm and make Nana proud. Yes. Bitches head kid. You are that kid from your mother who slept with King on the side piece. I Thus, am you the are the last actual living heir of... relative of blood to the King. So when we kill the King, you become King. I'm the bastard son of the King? Yeah. yeah so telling basically, me I'm... we just want to make you King, dog. I am royalty? Yeah. This is but, true. But they won't recognize you till we usurp the current king, because of bastardized laws. But we need to have you on our side to be able to do that. But so we still we can rally need the you. People. Yes, you seem like a perfectly noble and good person based on all the good deeds that you have done and things in the past since we've known you. So you would make a better king than this asshole that is currently. Well, you know, that. I do hate what the king has done. He's mean. He taxes people. He took away our fucking booze, for Christ's sake. What are we to do? Yes. Oh, I've spent no. my Drink own Gatorade. personal time rebuilding old ladies' homes and feeding the poor by myself. But, and this piece of shit king, you know? But, yeah. They took away our fuck and can our booze. I be the one to sick the dagger through the heart of the king. Yeah, that's kind of the My idea. own wait, 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 father. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe. We, you know, I mean, shit happens. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, it's really not a big deal breaker. I don't you even have really to, care. Just, you have to, like, be able to sneak and sneak into the castle with oh, that's her. that's true, huh? I don't know if I can do that. You have to be able to get past guards and fight yeah. for your life. Yeah, that's your And then approach the job, king yeah. and be like, I must kill you. That's your the main job. thing that's is really we need hard. to try and keep you safe because you are the only chance we have of a decent ruler after when, him. Uh, if you die, this all dies. When do we plan to... Take on this king. Two fortnights. Oh, fuck if I know. I'm just a yeah, farmer. I think you mean like, like next Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time? I, thought I it guess was so. Sunday was, after that yeah, at 7 so o'clock it Pacific It could be like time. a duo episode where the first Sunday you guys kind of like start the charge and then the following Sunday you finish it and take off the world and it's like there's this pre-recorded video that kind of yeah. sums up all the events oh, of the season. that's crazy. So we only oh, yes, actually that do could 11 yeah. episodes, but we have uh, episode 11 part one and then episode Good. 11 part two. Well, Philip Prince Philip McCrack I will take on the rightful heir of this throne Wait. at the hand of you three you shall be my knights I mean I kind of got a hook not a hand but where's the sword of warning hey, you you all of you are looking in Sved. The do they have a fucking face fed grab the sword of warning we need at least 14 more episodes. Not meta at all. Oh. You three! Because they fell from the back. King says, I am your father. Join me and together we shall rule the kingdom as father and son. You are my son! Yo, the kingdom is pretty chill. 
Maybe you You were my son, Philip! I loved you! I hate you! <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you three shall be my knights of the kingdom and the realm. If so, you shall choose except you, Rexna. Uh, what? Shall be Rexna. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Knight. Careful with that. Of all the PPs. Oh, man, now go. rise. But I don't have. Rise is a knight, Rexna. Uh, okay. With the strongest uh, of PPs. Oh, do I still need to keep rising? I'm sorry. Okay. Rolf. Ah, uh, uh, uh. You will rise, knight. And. Official son of the shepherd. Yes. Now rise. Can a king do that? Rolf has been the mightiest <laughs> and the coolest and the most handedness, and now he is the son of the shepherd. He just went super saying Rolf. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sven, you will be knight, owner of Wiener Spinsel. I'm the knight owner. Seller of all spinach. The knight of sellers. The owner of merchants. The best merchant in all the land. Rise. And I will oh. fill up. Play. Yay. This was really nice, Rich. Nice. I will fill up thy crack. You may sit. Oh. Now. You may shit. I will oh, join okay. with Becky and learn of battle plans. We must together find a way to unite the kingdom and take down the king. I suggest you all get good rest, because next week we have much promoting and planning and battling to do. Wait, wait, we're, we're, we're promoting. Have a good night, you three. What? Now, uh, before we end tonight, is there anything you three want to do before we end? Rolf is going to feed Barrow some strawberries first off. Nice. Um, and then he's also going to see if maybe the dragon has any, like, reservations about doing stuff. He's basically just going to talk to the dragon. Also, he's keeping Barros near, because apparently Barros is a jealous bitch. So, <laughs> so he's like including yeah, he him. Is. Yeah, he he's is. He's including Barros yeah. in, in stuff. Yeah, he is. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. But I, I'm trying to like, not okay. attune So you're going gonna to keep I'm... friends with the dragon, make sure the dragon gets fed, you know what I mean? Make yeah. sure he's good what? to go. That, that'll, 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 it's fed. I will fed. I, I oh, will find. He's gonna get fed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will find another pig what? to feed the dragon. He's gonna get fed. Fuck. Okay. Find nice. Another pig to feed the dragon. All right. And find feed. another pig. And oh, also, show the dragon these and see if he wants these or not. Ooh, I'm 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 assuming it's like a tooth and a nail of a dragon. It's like the, maybe it does he like know communism. anything? Are you offended if I use these for farming tools? And also, I don't know. You're gonna have to bring the. Translator with you because you no longer have a scroll of draconic. Right. I know Sped, you could speak draconic. Right? Oh, yes. Yeah. You guys so you forget could, you about Sped. Speak, you could bring Sved with you. Turns out Sved could speak draconic this whole time and he forgot. So uh, you bring him with you. True and, fact. and the dragon basically relays to you, Sved. He says, Using the tooth and nail do not offend me. Oh. I think the remains of dragons being used for the greater good. Is a good idea. Oh, ah. yeah, that's quite as long as it's good. not my family's Ooh. remains. If it was my family's remains, I would burn you to death easily. Well, it's good thing. Wait, good thing there's no gray dragons around. Yeah, good <laughs> thing. Good thing. All right, Rexnar Sved. Anything you guys want to do? I would. I would like to try to figure out how to fashion my dart into an arrow. Nice. Okay, we will roll on that next week. We'll see how well you do, Rexnar. I want to make sure all my battle PPs are ready to go. Nice. Making sure armor is properly strapped. Nice. Toothpick swords. What are they actually like construction nails? Are sharpened to their finest tip. Hell yeah. We Four, will. We strike at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Next Sunday. Next Sunday. That's right. Sunday, we will Monday. roll on that animal handling next week. That's where we're going to leave it tonight, you guys. One final thumbnail. Do what you guys think. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. 
I'm so happy I was able to catch the end. We usually end our stream much later. So this was a Hell yeah, Sarah Guan. Thank you so much for joining us. Or Gorilla Glue. Apparently that's trending now. Is it? What? Oh, yeah, because of the hair thing? Yeah. Rolf, go Super Saiyan. Oh, Super Saiyan, Rolf? Yeah. Super Saiyan. No, Super Son of the Shepherd. What ah, the Super fuck? Son of the Shepherd? I don't know what you're Super doing, Rexnar, but I love Shepherd it. Shepherd 3. I'm trying to... Are you trying to put your nuts on Rex Nars' face? Is it? I am tired. It's the freedom to all my abs. Oh, my God. It's so scary. Just look up. It's Fetch just staring at me. Ah! <laughs> it's okay. as much as I can hold my breath and get my Sorry. face raised. All right. Uh, you guys, we'll be right back in 10 minutes. Please don't go anywhere. We're going to hang out for a little bit. Uh, for our in-stream chit chat, so we can actually talk and hang out with you guys. We'll be right back. Please don't go anywhere. We love you. All right. Get that.